Oh, uh, jeez. All right, so we're about to start session 66, Coldlands, Hope and Despair. Uh, our last session uh, was pretty much uh, like the third verse of this uh, battle that was happening just outside the, the, the village of Mucklestones, uh, near the place where you guys first uh, were teleported in. Um, you, you guys, since then, have realized that there's some teleportation stones, for lack of a better term, within this graveyard that were used uh, by, right now, the Slotty, or whoever's attacking the, the town of Injas to kind of start teleporting just outside the town of Mucklestones. You guys arrived just in time to see some, uh, it's like refugees or villagers from Injas kind of fleeing from these slotty and some gnolls and some centaurs, and you started to engage. Uh, within that battle, there was also one temple cleric, uh, looked like a temple of, uh, of Torm. The guy from Injas was screaming at you guys who destroyed the sigils uh, within the teleportation stones, which he uh, was pretty much doing the whole time. So you guys joined the fray, a couple of uh, guards from Mucklestones joined with some other constructs, and there was also some of the elven guard from the forest uh, that joined into the uh, uh, the battle there as well. Um, yeah, we're also joined by a mysterious elven, well you don't know if he's elven, a mysterious hooded figure with a, with a bow that basically will like blink in and out of existence and keep firing shots at the, uh, the bad guys. Uh, but you guys, I think you battled two waves of them. And just took him down, and I think that Usul walked up and did like a mass cure wounds. Uh, during the battle, I think Quarren fell twice. Um, Dr. P tried to shoot him with a dart and pissed off Tolman, and Tolman threw him back and hit him in the neck. <laughs> and uh, thanks to that, Dr. P got a little healing surge in him. Um, Silith has got his big ball of death <laughs> around him, Sanctuary and Spirit Guardians, uh, which... I guess we could attribute somewhat to uh, a couple of strikes going uh, on Corrin's way and knocking him down. Uh, Dee, and, sorry, go ahead. I say, and that poor Temple Guardian. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, you, I think you can't cast Sanctuary on him as well. I did. His war, well, they should, actually, both of those should be off now. Right. I, I think it was. I have to scroll up and look. Uh, Sylvie, since you weren't here last time, I pretty much kind of had you in the background doing Firebolt the whole time, so now you can, you're free to Rain down whatever you would like. Now that you're here, uh, actually Diddy, help. Yep, she, he's out of spell points. <laughs> uh, Diddy was not in this battle. He he uh, ran back to the keep, uh, thinking that uh, this fight out here may have been a distraction as to a uh, an attempt to steal the gem core extractor back in the keep. So he, Jodell, and Cudwar are all back in the keep, uh, trying to protect that. That's unbeknownst to you guys. I think uh, what Diddy said was he was pressing his ear to the ground trying to detect evil and see if he could like hear people tunneling underground. Right, right. I think he thought that uh, part of that uh, the, the the mines underneath that the uh, crap and John Blank what they were called. Slotty. No, that the 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 mine the guild in town that uh, kind of controls the mines. I think he was thinking that those mines actually tunnel underneath the town itself. But again, this is unbeknownst to you guys. You're not sure what happened to him. All you know is he's not there in the battle. Um, okay, like I said, we last left off. Uh, you guys kind of destroyed the last, uh, I guess, crew came through the portal. Usul stepped up, cast Cure Wounds, and then another portal opened up. Two more Slotty, two more Centaurs, and I think another Knoll came pouring out of the uh, the portal. All the while, this other Temple Cleric is still screaming for you guys to smash the sigils. Okay? Anything else that I might have missed, you guys? I think that's it. Okay, all right, so let me switch you guys over to the battle map, and we will start from the top of the round here. All right, everyone sees the turn order, right? Just making sure it's not just my screen that doesn't show all of them. Uh, I think you see it. Okay, so we just finished the top of the round at the 0-0, zero, zero, whatever that means. Oh, yeah, um, remind me, we've already gone past everybody's round of being basically exhausted or stunned, whatever that was, at the end of haste, correct? Mm, how long does haste last again? Ten rounds. I mean, we're on round 12 right now. Oh, we're on... Yes. Twig, Twig is no longer haste. I remember that. Okay. I was say, then no, Sylph is still... Because Sylph got hasted after... Because I came in late, remember? Yep. 
but I think yours has expired as well because I went through and double checked your, your tokens uh, after last session, and if you still had haste, I left the H next to your name. Okay, I got an S next to my name. That's because you have sanctuary cast on yourself. So one of those two or both those should be coming off. Because okay. mine should have came off the turn after the Temple Cleric. Okay, the Sanctuary did? Sanctuary. Okay, all right, so thank you for that. I'll remove that S from your name. No more Sanctuary. Oh, darn. I'm so upset about that. <laughs> I, I know. I mean, I'm still a moving Fortress of Death, but hey. One more point of clarification. Usul, I had you marked down as Concentration. So if I thought last time you dropped the Moonbeam because you did something else that was Concentration. Is that sound uh, correct? I did drop the moonbeam and I cast um, the healing, so that's correct. I should be should have it dropped. Yes. Okay, so you're not concentrating on anything right now, correct? That is correct. Okay, and we'll get rid of the C next to your name then as well. Then. I thought that was for Captain. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We'll, we'll let the other guy say answer that one for you. <laughs> Okay, anybody else have like a little letter or anything next to their name? I don't think so. All right, so top of the round, Dr. P, you are up. What would you like to do here? Dr. P is going to call uh, for Betamax, or Baymax to move um, back over by Corn and the rest of them. Okay. Baymax, come here! You should have control over him, right? Yeah, so he moves 30, so I just moved him six squares. Okay. Um, Dr. P is also going to use a bonus action scope to attach it to his uh, short bow. Okay. And then he's going to take a shot. It, um, are all these five guys that I see right next to Buttercup and Dr. P, are those all enemies? Yeah, these are all the new ones kind of right here to your, uh, I guess your left, as how you're looking. Gotcha. Okay, uh, I'm going to shoot the, uh, the red slotty over by Toman. Okay, you think you are. Let's see it. So it hits AC Damn. 20. <laughs> yeah, that hits. And does 20 damage. Shit. All right, so you watch as uh, Dr. P kind of puts some kind of contraption on a short bowl and then pulls it back, and you see an arrow just shoot sink right in one side of the of the, uh, the slotty's gut and it X's out the other side. Takes a nice little hole in him. Turns around kind of snarls at you. A little bit of blood trickling out of his mouth there, Dr. P. Cool. Anything else? And that's it for me. Nope, that's it. Okay, Sylvia. You get your bearings on what's going on in the map here, Sylvia. Yeah, 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 I do. And then what, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use something very exciting that I'm super excited and have waited all this time to use. <laughs> like I actually know what it's going to be. Let's see. Character, there we go, core. If I lose a hand to a fireball, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> The circle no, of um, what I was going to do was I was going to use the the staff of swarming. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm going to refresh my memory on what that one was. So well, that's the one you won the, uh, the little uh, bet thing at the guild, didn't you? Yes. Where is it? I was just trying to see... Uh, see on the magic items where it is. It's a roll, isn't it, that tells you what you summoned? Pardon? Wasn't it like a roll that told you what you summoned? Mm. Uh, Actually, I don't maybe. see it added to the magic items there. The magic item list. Yeah, it's not. Well, that's a bad DM on my part. Is it in your uh, character? That's okay. It was the last thing I googled, so... Okay. Um... So the staff has 10 charges and regains 1d6 plus 4 expended charges daily dawn. If you expend the last charge on a roll, so d20, blah, 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 blah. While holding the staff, you can use your action to expend some of its charges to cast one of the following spells from it. Using your spell saves DC, 
giant insects or insect plague. <laughs> okay. Uh, What's it going to be? Uh, hang on, I just have to double check which one that is. Well, I think I think I'm going to use a uh, giant insect. Blah, blah, blah. What kind of insect is it? I don't, have st- I don't know if I got stats for something like that. Let me look. <laughs> um, you transform up to 10 centipedes, three spiders, five wasps, or one scorpion within range into giant versions of their natural forms for the duration. A centipede becomes a giant centipede. A spider becomes a giant spider. A wasp becomes a giant wasp. Holy shit. Three of them? uh, It depends which one I want to summon. (laughs) Okay. So, like, uh, I feel like I'm going to summon five giant wasps. Giant wasps. Ah, I have those. Uh, Woo! (laughs) Wasps are assholes. Let's make them giants. How far away do they appear? Um, let me see what I can infer from that, uh, giant insects. Uh, so the range is 30 feet from me. So they would randomly spawn within 30 feet of me. Okay, one second. I'm going to give you access to this one, so hold on. So you can move it yourself. Okay, there's that. And then give you access to the character sheet. If you want it, I'm assuming you do. Yes, please. Okay. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have made more work and summoned ten uh, centipedes. Nope, too late now. You already got me going on giant wasp. <laughs> All right, so uh, I don't know if you see it or not, but there, you should now see a folder that says enemies. Let okay. me know if you don't. Uh, under journal? Yeah. And then if you go under E through H, and then underneath giant, you should see a giant wasp in there. Let me know if you don't. Oh, there's giant wasp. Okay. There we go. Yep. All right, so let me multiply this one on the screen. You said five of them, right? Yep. And then you can move them wherever you want. Actually, move the one that's on the screen wherever you want, and then I'm going to multiply it. Because I'm assuming you want them all on a big cluster somewhere. Uh, this is things. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them... So I'll have that one. Uh, 30 feet, one, two, three... Uh, I'll say it's a, a 15 foot. Run. How about that? That gives me 30 feet. Okay. So you're going to leave him right there? Uh, yeah, that's one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So stop spinning all around so I can grab him. That's <laughs> 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 was doing that. <laughs> all right. So five of them. Attack the clones. Alright, so you should have control over them, right? Yeah. Okay. So is that your action? Fly or... my pretties. Uh, yeah, that'll be my... Yeah, that's my action. It's not like it's a bonus action. Okay. Alright. You gonna move or you gonna stay where you are? Uh, bu- 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 bu. Oops, shit. I accidentally moved. Okay. No, I think I'll uh, I think I'll stay where I am. Okay. And just so I'm Actually, clear, you control the loss, right? Uh, that would suck, right? If you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just making sure it says that. <laughs> each creature obeys your verbal command, and in co- and in combat, they act on your turn each round. Okay. All right. So you're safe for now. <laughs> yeah. Revolt of the giant wasp, and I'm just gonna zip sort of over uh, this way. Okay. 
Alright, So just so everyone's aware, you see me flying in like with this giant these giant wasps uh flying around me. Oh, you're in your broom? Yeah. Oh awesome. Okay. So flying witch and her little minions. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like a striker attack. Die bomb. <laughs> Let's have that, yeah. that, that music from Wizard of Oz going through my head where she's riding the bicycle through the, through the tornado, you know. Jeez. All right, good guys are up. Oh, if you guys forgot from last time, um, as these uh, last enemies came walking out of the portal, there was also reinforcements showing up uh, back here behind you from the town. And uh, did I bring in the elves? I did not bring them in. So let me bring them in real quick. So a few bring elves in the elves. Showed up as well. So let me change all these to the right layer. So those guys all show up. Grab these fellas. Oh, wrong layer, Brian. Yay. They're all going to move up here. Oh, actually, the Tolman's, uh, I think it was Tolman. Didn't Tolman the one did the, the big cloud of fog or whatever it was up here? That's correct. Okay, and it's still there, correct? I do believe so. It has uh, like an hour. Let me look it up. Yeah, I think it was like Something an hour like last that. time. Yeah. yeah, so if there's a breeze, it could be blowing off in a direction, but otherwise it's just hanging there. Holy shit, they all rolled freaking good. Let's see if they can actually roll some decent damage. And they all step up, and all of them hold, hold up the crossbows, and they start shooting at uh, the fellows over here. Several of them find their mark. That one. This guy takes a shot. Actually, he took two shots. And this guy took two shots. And the other one hit this guy. And the two constructs, these two constructs here are shooting arrows as well. And they roll like shit and miss. The elves back over here are going to take their full movement to sprint up to here. Won't get an attack this time. Oh, yeah, and the temple cleric. He's going to try to whack on the stone here. Ooh, he gets a crit. And clang, you see some of the uh, ruins over here kind of light up for a second and then to kind of spark. And a bunch of little pieces of sparks kind of fall to the ground. And he screams out in, in excitement, Tormus blessed us! And that one gets another mark. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I got my other good guy. This guy right here, he screams out for joy to see the, the uh, temple cleric kind of smash on the sigil. And he's going to sneak kind of around behind this uh, construct thing here and take a shot. Ugh, too many people in the way. He's shooting at this one over here. I'm short. Too many people in the way. I was like, there's just a cluster here. Finds his mark. He disappears. Reappears over here. He shoots at the blue guy. And misses. Disappears again. Reappears right here. And he shoots at the red guy. And finds his mark. It's Toman and Square in the side of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Just a flesh wound. <laughs> so all of my good guys. Nope, I had the other good guys that were still here. I forgot about them. The what are the elves guards. you just brought in? Still so got some guards over here. Oh, shit, I gotta grab them. They're gonna kinda step over here a little bit. I just wanna move them away from everybody so I can actually see them. There. This one and this guy. So one, two, three, four, five of those as well. Yeah, only two of them hit. So this guy takes a shot, and this one takes a shot. And uh, demolisher. He, they're actually going to hold him back because there's too many people there. So he's going to actually roll around this way and not quite get there. 
This one's going to roll forward. This one's going to roll forward. And this last one will actually right on the edge. Can't quite get to him. All right. That's it for the one, guys. Silith, you're up, buddy. All right. Uh, so, Silith's going to move. Uh, let me, uh, I think it should be right about, right about here. Let me just let me just make sure this fits. Uh, uh, where's that? Yep. Uh, uh, yep. And yeah, yeah. Is he is he in range? You think there? Well, you you tell me where you're gonna move to, and I'll, then I'll let you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm moving moving just close enough to put both the slotty and that centaur in range of my uh my sphere of murder death, and uh I get. So I have no more haste? Correct. Let's see. The belt of speed. When I read this belt, use a bonus action and tap tail. You belt as you double walking speed. Oh, it's, it's just movement speed, not... Okay, I was wondering if you gave me like haste attack speed, so I can do one attack, not two. Correct. No longer haste attack. Uh, all right. Uh, quick question. Mm-hmm. Um, just because it's been a while. Mace of storms, using it to smack things. Does it count as a magical weapon? Yes. And if I use divine strike. Uh, which is uh, oh, where it's not coming up. Hold on. I think do, it's, do, it's extra poison. Yeah, one, it? yeah, it's one d eight poison damage once per turn on weapon hit. No. Right. I suppose that wouldn't really affect a rock, would it? Don't know until you try. <laughs> All right, sure. It's, it doesn't cost me anything. Do it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, whack on that one. Okay, you got to back up if you want to get to that one. Oh, am I not close enough to that one? You see where the mark is? That's where the oh, first I, mark that, was. Oh, that's where the mark is. Okay, okay. I thought that was just meant those were just identifying that there were marks. No, nope, that's where the first strike went. Oh, uh, okay. So I should be over here then. Yep. All right. Nope. Okay, I guess move there. I guess those guys are safe for now. <laughs> and uh, I mean, well, I guess I could I could move over to this one instead. <laughs> nah, nah. Get the first one in the back. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and there's a uh, mace of storms. So that'd be magical damage. Mm-hmm. And let's go ahead and say it went with divine strike. Okay, which is poison damage, right? Two poison damage. Okay, so you you slam it, you hit it, but you don't see any change to the to the runes. It's still sitting there, kind of somewhat glowing. Dang. Well. Uh, I got nothing else. I got nothing else. Uh, is this a bonus action or is this a? Hold on. Give me one second. I need to know if it's a bonus action or not. Uh, so I'm gonna use your channel. Any action? Okay. Nope. Okay. So you're done. I'm done. All right. Bad guys are up. Wow. I actually survived so far. <laughs> All right, so they turn around, and, well, actually, this guy just, uh, who shot him? Was it uh, Dr. P? Brevin did. <laughs> oh, and Dr. P. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dr. P's the one that hit him really good. All right, so I'm trying to get rid of this line if I can, because it's going to disappear. And then he's going to... Step away from Tolman. So, Tolman, you can take an opportunity attack because he's going right for Dr. P. I will do that. Hold on. Okay. Um, the slot just moved, so he's within five feet of. Is that Dr. P, I see? Correct. Okay, so I get to do sneak attack. Yep. He would have been beside Buttercup or somebody else on his way to Dr. P as well, so yeah. 
All right, so far enough, and he's already been damaged too, so I'm going to be able to do sneak attack with my hand crossbow, and I'll be adding Colossus damage too, so first the attack. <laughs> okay. Oh, doggone it. Uh. <laughs> What's that with? That's with your crossbow? You get so nervous and he's, as he looks back at, at Dr. P and takes off running, you shoot in haste, and uh, he kind of misses right underneath his armpit. Uh, bummer. Okay, that's your opportunity attack. So now he gets to continue to try to pound on Dr. P for putting a hole in his chest. So, let's see. They get three attacks. So, here comes a claw for Dr. P. And another claw for Dr. P. And then he tries to reach down and show you how sharp his teeth are. So how many of those hit, Dr. P? 18 AC, so at least one claw and one jaws. Okay, so 15 on the claw attack and then 12 on the, uh, the bite. Ouch. Okay, that's him. This guy, you know, get his bearings. Sees these two rolling things of swords come at him and he's going to charge in this direction. Right over at Tongman. Actually, he's going to go right by Buttercup. I'm going to try to run over and trample both uh, Tongman and Quarren here. So go ahead and give me an opportunity deck if you want for Buttercup. Yeah, i got to find her sheet. I forgot to open Okay, so that is going to be this guy. I'm assuming a 12 probably misses. Is that correct, Toman? 12 misses, yes, I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. And then, as a bonus, he's going to try to trample onto Corn. Oh, shit. <laughs> and poor Corn, who's not here. And is laying on the ground. <laughs> yep. So, minus 11. Just a good thing he's awake. Okay, that's it for his attack. I'll just kind of move him past just a little bit so you can actually see him. And a 10 misses for Buttercup. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next up is going to be this big guy. He's going to run up here and join the Frigga right in the middle of all these folks. And let's see, 2, 4, 6. Who's he going to hit? He's going after poor Otoman. Son of a gun. Okay, so he gets three attacks as well. Two claws. There's one. Two. Ooh. Oh. Oh, shit, that's a... Uh, give me a con save as well, Toman. Nope. Mm. Okay, and lastly, a little bite. A little bite. <laughs> It hits 17 is my armor class, so it's a tie. Defenders okay. win ties. <laughs> no, it's glancing blows now. We changed that, remember? Oh, right. Oh, damn it. So, <laughs> so four piercing damage for that. On that second hit, Toman, give me a... Uh, how do I want to do this? Give me a... Just call it a perception check. Or nature, whichever one you want. Is nature any better for you? Oh no, perception <laughs> is definitely better. Okay, as that second claw strikes you, it's almost like his claw kind of pauses for a second as it's raking across your chest, and you feel like almost like an injection of like poison or something go right into your chest. Yay. Okay, okay so I'm looking at uh, now the last one, four damage. Is that with the glancing blow, or do I have to make it two? Four is with the glancing blow. Thank you. Okay. All right, so that's it for his turn. The Knolls take a look around. You know, back up a little bit. Pull out their bows. And, oh, yeah, they were struck by who? Mm -mm -mm. It's going to be either Toman or Brevin. Oh, it's Toman, you lucked out. They're both going at, Bre going at uh, oh, sorry. The hooded guy. <laughs> uh, do, 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 where 
here, Sir Longpo. Plop, plop, plop. <laughs> hmm, those are some pretty good hits. Because one, two, three of them hit. Six, you guys watch as three arrows kind of sink into uh, the hooded guy over here a little bit. And you see his head go back a little bit. Kind of puts his head back down a little bit. And you see him kind of pulling on his bowstring, getting ready to fire another shot. Return fire. But he does take three arrows. And that... Ooh, I forgot about these guys. Let me double check something. Because they have something else. I thought. There it is. The bonus section. Okay, so you see him kind of yip and yell something like that. And Dr. P watches this red guy raises up his claw one more time. Jesus. I'm assuming a 20 hits you. 10 more points of slashing damage. And then the blue Ouch. one is going to, let's see, 246. Ah, he's actually, uh, you know what, Twig, you're just beyond his reach, so it's going to get Buttercup instead. With a claw. And I think that's all the bad guys. I'm assuming that hits him, right? Twig, you there? <laughs> yeah, I'm here, I'm checking. Okay. Well, yeah, 25 is going to hit yeah. her. <laughs> Seven points of slashing damage. All right, corn's up. Oh shit! I guess I'll run with him for tonight and make him run. Make him stand up. He's gonna stand up for half his movement. How's he doing on hit points? Holy shit! All right, I got pull up his character sheet. I think he has uh, an ability to heal himself if he hasn't used it already. Gotta find it, as I recall. There it is. Gain the ability to heal yourself as an action. You can regain hit points equal to three times your monk level. You must finish a long rest before you can use this feature again. Well, he's definitely going to do that. Just have to remember that he's used that. Three times his monk level. Holy shit. That's pretty freaking good. You guys watch as he stands up and starts making some kind of motions through the air. And you see like this golden light kind of come out of his fingertips and wash over his body. And you watch some of the wounds in front of him heal before you. Okay, so that was his action. What does he have for a bonus action? Sorry, guys, hold on. I gotta look up his character sheet. He's gonna use a key point. And do patient defense. He's down to three key points. All right, that's it for his turn. And Toman, you're up. Okay. Um, <coughs> this is, this is, this is. Sylvia, your dog. <laughs> well. I know. Over my Monster Ghost died, but my turn's coming up. I'm going to drink one of my healing potions. Okay, bonus action for really? yourself. Right, that's going to uh, potion of healing. I believe they were. It was a greater healing, wasn't it? Uh, I just have potion of healing. I don't think it's greater healing. If you got them so from think... the herbal remedy guy, then they were greater healing. No, these are the ones I've had originally since I created the character. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have we picked those up yet? I didn't think we had. I thought you did some of them. I believe that's a D8, correct? One. Plus con bonus? Two, uh, normal one is 2D4 plus 4. That's what I recall. Okay, stand by. Could be 2D4 plus 2, but I'll give you 2D4 plus 4 right now. So I don't want to look it up. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> <laughs> he regrows a limb. <laughs> That's a really good healing potion. 
Okay, what else are you going to do, Tillman? Tillman. Oh, Push the button, Tillman. <laughs> Buttercup's right there, so I got sneak attack. If I, uh, I'm going to take my shot. I'm going to take a shot. Do you have the crossbow feet? Yes, I do. Okay. All right, so being that close doesn't impose this advantage. No, and he hasn't taken any damage, correct? The blue Slot. One? The uh, blue. Let me double check. I think he has. Nope, he has not. Okay, so just sneak attack. Damn it. <laughs> and I'm going to move. All righty. Which way? That should be my 25. Okay, so... And this guy... Nope, did not use his reaction for that bonus thing. So he's going to take a opportunity attack. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> and so is this guy. Uh... He's got a great sword. Oh, oh he missed. A critical fail. All right, that's far as you, go. you can move there, Tillman. Or are you done? All right, I'm done. Okay. All right, Twig, you're up. Buttercup, distract the blue one. <laughs> And of course, it won't actually post. I'm sorry? And of course, it won't do it. I'm mean, using one of my maneuver feats. Ah, okay. What is it? Tag team is what it is. I'm trying to get the post. Hold on. There. In a butt. And Buttercup will move up and make an attack. Well, Move up. She can just make an attack where she's standing. Okay. Conveying advantage on your next attack against the creature this round. Okay. Yeah. So the twig's next attack gets advantage. Okay. All right. Buttercup swings her claws at, at him to distract him. Okay. And that's a glancing blow, so he does take a little bit of damage there. Oh, her attacks are not magical, though, right? Correct. Okay. So it does a little bit of damage. Didn't do much, but... She drew a little bit of blood. And then Twig. And Twig. And the first one had advantage. Right. Okay. And that is a magical short bow or not? Nope. He has no magical equipment, really. Alrighty. He's got the magic of money. <laughs> <laughs> Only because he got rich from that adventure. So the first one hits, and it doesn't sink in. You almost see it like it, it hits and kind of rips a portion of his shoulder off. But it's really a lot more like a nick than anything for him. And the second one was not at advantage, right? Correct. Okay, so it was a glancing blow, and it's not magical. Okay, the second one kind of, you see it hit like a scale, and you see a scale kind of flake off. Okay, anything else? These things are tough. Yes, <laughs> they are. Okay, Usul. Okay. You guys are kind of killing me here, making me play this uh, like a healer. But here goes. As the healer just continues to try and kill things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I should be able to get everybody... Um, down here, that's yeah, sixty feet. That's her. Oh yeah! Oh, Look yeah. at all them people getting them seventeen healing. Now is it everybody, yeah. or is it like six people of your choice? How's that work? Six, six people. So okay. I don't, I don't believe there's more than six people. There's and I'm full health, so six. Yeah, actually there is. There's. Six
six here tonight, but there's also corn for seven. And buttercup. Pick the ones that are missing the most health. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so you decide, Uh. So that would be Quarren, Toman, um, the bear. Is that Buttercup? Yep. Um, Doctor P and Twig. Twig. I believe that's six. Uh, I believe so. Say Quarren, Buttercup, Toman. That's three. Dr. P, that's four. Twig, corn. Shit, one, two, three, four, five. That's five. So Dr. P, Twig, Buttercup, Quarren, Toman. Who else is down there? Uh, that's all of them I see there. You can do the Temple Cleric. I think he's full health. Or yourself or Silith. Yeah, what about one this more. thing? Can you reach... No, you can't heal a uh, construct with healing. No ah. construct. Can you yeah. reach a hooded guy? Yep. Yep. Well, let's do that. Okay, he's going to get 17. Yep, yep. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> Jason typed it, out. typed it out. We could have just read it off the screen. Yep. Cool. <laughs> All right, you guys watch as Usul kind of takes a step forward, starts waving his hands, and here this magical yellow energy kind of starts doing swirling around his body and kind of reaches out to each one of you guys and you feel it kind of go in your lungs and some of your, your wounds start to kind of close up and heal. Anything else, Usul? Uh, nope. Uh, that's it. There's no more uh, blue... There's no more portals, right? I don't see any more on the screen, at least. Yeah, the one they came through disappeared. Okay. Yep, okay. that'll be it. Alright, so round zero. Update this number. This, this, actually, got to double check. Okay. And that's it. All right, Dr. P, you're up, buddy. Yeah! <laughs> Dr. P is going to disengage and move away from this red slotty. Okay. Um, while he's doing it, he's going to tell Baymax uh, that that's the foe to attack. Okay, so so we can disengage, and then he can move 30 feet. So. Okay, so go ahead and move yourself. And Baymax will move kind of in his place. One, two, three, four, five. Um, Baymax, does Baymax get an attack in the same round? He moves? Yeah, as long as that's... I try, sorry, I've been a while since I looked at your character sheet. Is it a bonus action to tell him to attack? It, it's an action, but he gets two actions around. Like it's it, So it's kind of acts as a bonus action to tell him to attack. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, so if you did that, then yeah, he can go and attack. Or was there disengage a bonus action? Disengage was the action, okay. and then I, he told him to attack as okay. his other action. Holy shit, yeah. Comes rolling up there and kind of digs into the side of the thing as it reaches for you and misses really bad because you disengage, but it does take some hit. And his attacks are... I can't remember if I ever said their attacks were considered magical. No, I don't think they are. Is that it's correct? construct, right? Yep. So I'm going to assume they're not unless you see that otherwise on his character sheet. No, I don't see any kind of magic okay. stuff. Okay. All right. Anything else for Dr. P? Nope, that's it for him. Okay, Sylvia. Excellent. Um, this giant wasp <laughs> is going to attack the red slotty. Uh, uh. Uh, where is his wasp? Okay. Yeah. Kind of walks 
flies up to it, and you see the the slotty kind of raise up one hand, kind of smack it out of the way. Doesn't find its mark. Done. Um, okay, then the other giant wasp advance, uh, following suit. And what's their speed? Pardon? What's their 30 speed? 30 feet. 30 feet if they're not dashing. Okay. I guess. So we can get to there. Two, three, four, five, six. And then he's gonna this one's gonna make another make a dash. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, Twig, as he said, this little wasp. <laughs> this little wasp went to market. And I'm gonna move over here. And I'm going to Take a shot at uh, the blue slotty. Okay, he's going to have a slight bonus to his AC since he's kind of right in the middle of a crowd. If it's some kind of ranged attack. Duh. <laughs> I'll be. But let's see if he can uh, dodge three rays of fire. I'm going to use Scorching Ray. Okay, a range spell attack. 23. Oh, yeah, it's going to hit even with this bonus. Yeah, uh, but now I have to roll two more, because... Uh, yep. It's three separate attacks, attack, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for each attack. Okay. Yeah, so he takes the damage uh, on the first one. Let's see the second and third one. Yeah. Oh, shit, your oh. first one was a 13 to hit, wasn't it? My first one was a... Uh, no, it's 23, 13, oh. and 18. Okay, I see. It, it scrolled up. I was like, wait, I thought it was higher than that. All right, so the second one misses, and the third one does find its mark. Oh. So, minus six. All right. Anything else from Sylvia? Uh, no, that is it. And his writhing in pain over there. This is radiant damage, right? No, fire. Fire rings down. Oh, hold on a minute. It's fire damage. Hmm. Hold on a minute. You see it rain down on him. It doesn't do quite as much damage as you're expecting it to do. But it still does uh, scold him a little bit. And that first one was five. Okay. Damn, Skippy. You see him kind of turn his head and look over kind of your direction, like he's kind of careening his neck over Twig and Buttercup here, looking at where that uh, possibly could have been coming from. Anything else, Sylvia? I can do nothing else at the moment. Okay. Diddy's back at the deep. Good guys are up. Hang on, I'm just taking my dogs for a walk to outside, so I'll be okay. back. Okay, okay. Those many, and then one, two, three, four. Wow, wasn't too good at rolling. See as the uh, the guards all kind of take their positions, I'm gonna kind of move them some random spots around here. Nope, they're not gonna move over there because that's where the fog is. <laughs> so back over here, and one, two, three, four, five, six. These several of the knolls get popped with some bolts. And this one. And this slotty here gets hit with one. And, yep, I'll say the blue one as well. You yeah. get hit, you get hit, you get hit. These two guys come rolling up here. This one is going to... Wow, where's it going to go? Everybody's in his way. Out of there. This one will move up to attack. So, one, two, three, four of them. Hey, one's a crit. 
So, one, two, three, four. the crit is on this guy. Oh, you see this guy just kind of turning up dirt and mud as it's kind of rolling right into the centaur. Kind of rips up one big kind, one big uh, uh, hindquarter massively. See, like flesh and tendon kind of get ripped out. Takes a pretty good massive hit here, but he is still standing. Okay, um, now the elves. One, two, three, four, five of those as well. Wow. One of them hits. So let's move them up a little closer if I can. Wife is calling. I'll be Okay. And they're all going at that same centaur, so... Boom. Okay, that's it for them. So, Lith, you're out, buddy. All right. <clears throat> let's... Let's, uh... Let's give a good little a whack a lock here. Hooah! I don't I don't think I really hit it, did I? <laughs> uh, it's it's an inanimate object sitting right in front of oh, you. Hold I mean, on, hold on. I just realized something. Um, the temple clerk never did nothing on his last turn either. That's right. He didn't. Well, I mean, he hit this last one on the turn before that, but yeah, he would have moved up to screw it he's gonna stand right in front of this guy he would have moved up right next to this thing uh i gotta move some people around to where the first hit was so i can see sorry okay there it is <laughs> it's up there by the wasp so he would have moved all the way up to here and he would have swung at that thing and hits Ugh! see see dust flying you see him kind of scream a little bit and said not good enough not good enough Okay, Silith, now you can go. Yeah, Silith's just gonna join him right over here. Oh, isn't that terrible? On the other side of this stone thing from the uh, slotties. Yep, that's just terrible. I get it. <laughs> and uh, maybe he'll crouch down a little behind the stone thing. <laughs> he's gonna crouch down? No, he's gonna hang out there. He's okay. fine. He's, he's, he's across the stone thing. He's cool. Okay. Anything else, Silith? Uh, that is my action and that, and I don't think I have... Oh, hold on. Is that a bonus action, or is that just a no? Uh, that's an action. Nope, never mind. I'm done. Okay. Bad guys are up. Uh, blue guy is going to dig in a little deeper. So he's got corn, buttercup, and twig all within reach. Let's see who is he going to hit. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, uh, wait, six. first, first, he's going to take the spirit oh, guardian's damage. That's the start of his turn. Okay, yep. Wisdom yep. save, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. His wisdom saves are awesome with these guys. DC 16? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what was your damage? Oh, geez, we're going to need to go back and find yeah, that. Just, just uh, roll it again. Uh, hold on, then. I need to get back into the screen. Uh, I cast that fifth level. Cast at five. Did that come up? I don't see anything. It didn't come up. Hold on, let me try this again. Use the dice tower if you need to. Uh, oh, oh, I know what it is. Hold on. There, click this, click this. Click this. Click this. Click this. that work? That didn't work either. Nope, I don't see Drop it. Back, sorry. It just keeps opening a tech. What what is the damage? It spirit guardian is uh 3d8 and then it's going to be for each level increased uh in by yeah so it's 5d8. Uh 5d8. Right there, I got it. You get it. Yep, 15. Damage. I like mine better. I rolled okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> I got tired of waiting on you. We're going with mine. 15. <laughs> Minus 15. Come on, you got a big ball of death around you. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now, finish off his attacks. He's going to uh, take a swipe at poor old Corn. 
because that's how I'm rolling right now. Oh shit, Corn takes five. And he's going to take his next one at uh, Twig. I'm sorry, not Twig, at Buttercup. And oh, you... that's, that, that's real close. I looked up. It was only 16 on my last one there, Brian. Ah, <laughs> okay. Well, good. It's 15 now. <laughs> <laughs> then he's going to reach over Buttercup and try to bite onto uh, Twig there. And he misses Twig. Hits Buttercup there. Okay, he also hit Corn as well. Five. Okay, that's his turn. Now the red guy. He's going to step up here, so I'll go ahead and give Buttercup and Twig an opportunity attack if you want it. Oh, yeah. Baymax, you mean? I know, he's still within Baymax, his uh, reach. Oh, okay. And then I'll make him do a wisdom save, because he's equally There's Twig. good at that. Okay, yep, that hits. Does he? Uh, yeah, because he's beyond five feet when he walks away from you. There's Buttercup. Okay, so Buttercup. What's the wisdom save for? That's for the red guy starting his turn within your big ball of oh, death. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so first things first. Okay, so first twigs, not magical. And then Buttercups, not magical. Okay, and then wisdom save, he fails. You'd think I'd, you know, win one of these. I don't think I've won a single one yet. But now he's going to any mini miny mo on uh, Silith or the Temple Cleric. And all three of them are going at the Temple Cleric. <laughs> does he still have Sanctuary? No, it's, it's He does not. Fire, he right? lost it the turn before. Yeah, he lost it the turn before I did. Okay. Well, good. I can actually maybe hit something then. So one, two, and three. What's his armor class? Wow, the last one hits. Back. Plus minus eight. Ugh! It takes a very good strike. See him rake across his chest, and part of his uh, his breastplate gets ripped off. He got a big gaping hole in his chest. He's still standing there screaming. Okay. Um, these guys. Wow. Any, mini miny, mo. Okay. This one's going to shoot over at this guy. Misses badly both times. And the other one's going to shoot over here at the Temple Cleric. And one of them finds a spark. Oh boy, for a whopping three points of damage. Um, oh yeah, this guy. Standing right here, surrounded by everybody. Hmm. You know what? He is going to do it. So, Brevin had his bow out. He's going to charge right through here. I can't remember, is this a big save or is it an attack roll? I'm going to aim for him. Actually, I meant to click on uh, Silith there, not the Temple Cleric. Who's the cut? The Centaur Warrior, he charges toward it. That's 11, so he didn't hit shit anyway. <laughs> yeah. But he does get to use his hooves. But he does take the damage for entering the circle. Yep, I know. I'll give him a wisdom save in just a second. He's got enough hit points that he's not going <laughs> to die from it, but let me do it real quick for you. <laughs> hey. Ooh. What was the DC? 16. No, okay. wait, it's 16 or 17. Hold on. Let me pop up my character sheet again. I had to put it away to try and roll it. All right, while you're doing Ooh. that, he's going to slam his hooves 16. down to the yep. cleric. Ah, and he misses so the cleric. 16. Okay, he took half damage from that. If I can find him in here. If I get in there, yep, there we go. Okay, and I think that's all the bad guys. All right, Corrin is up, and he's still alive, and he's got a big blue guy in front of him. So, Would anyone have gotten opportunity attacks on the, the center passing by? 
Not when he's trampling. If he'd have been like moving out of the range of someone behind him, then yes. But he was basically trying to run through there and trample everything. And I thought that trample was for everybody in the line, but I was wrong. Say Toman, I said, would have been out of it, wouldn't he? Right. Yeah. All right, so Corn's going to... He's already standing up. And he's going to try to pummel this blue guy. Does he have token actions for that guy? Did Toman add those hit points from the uh, my healing? I don't know. Did he? That was the 17 looks... points I did add, yes. Oh, okay. He must have gotten hit again then. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was when he, he ran away after that and got hit like two or three more times. <laughs> All right. So, bam. And he gets three attacks, as I recall. So, second one hits. Third one hits. Those are magical. That's it for Corin. Toman, you're up, buddy. Yay. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to turn and take two shots at Mr. Blue Slod. First one will be sneak attack, as I have advantage. Is 18 hit? Yep, the blue one does. So that's 25 points. Was there more to it than that? You Plus add two. two for Colossus. 25, 20. So 20. That's for the first one. 13 misses. It does. All right, is that it for your turn, Toman? That is all. Okay, Twig. At the blue one. Okay, he's within five feet of you now. Oh, is he? Yeah. Didn't make it the red one. Okay, that's what <laughs> I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and Buttercup will get after the blue one. Okay, so the first one hits. Not magical. Second one is a glancing blow. So it's going to be... Doing math in my head. Okay. He takes several shots. We still stand in, and Buttercup misses. Okay, is that it for Twig? That's all Twig can do. Okay, Usul. All right, I'm going to move over 15. I'm going to take a shot at this red guy, and then I'm going to move back. Okay. The red guy. I'm going to bump up, well, it wouldn't matter if I bumped up his AC because he's behind a bunch of people. You still hit him. And that is a magical attack, right? That is, yep. Okay. Cracks him upside the head. Seems kind of wince a little bit. Turns and snarls back at you, but he's still looking down at all the people in front of him. And I'm going to go hide. That's it for me. Okay. Top of the round. That's round 14. Holy crap, this battle's been going forever. This guy heals a little. This guy heals a little. Okay, Dr. P, you're up. All right, Dr. P is going to fire off two more scoped uh, sharpshooter arrows at the red slotty. Okay. Okay, first one. Dude, nine. What would you say about nine? Twenty. Uh, this is second one. You're breaking up there. I didn't get to catch all that. The first one hits AC nine, so I assume it misses. Correct. The second one hits AC twenty, because you subtract three, yep. and it does fifteen damage, and it is a magical bow. Okay. All right. So the second one finds its mark. And then Bold. Baymax is going to also whack that one. Okay, let's see it. Ooh, man, that was a good hit there. But that that was, was a pretty good one. That is not magical. Slotty Standard getting pelted full of arrows and scratches and fire and all kinds of shit. It's been dug up his, up his butt, but he is still standing. Anything else, Dr. P? 
No, nope, that's it for me. Okay. Where is Dr. P? I don't even see you in the... Where, click on your, t your token. Where the hell are you? Oh, you're way over there. Okay. Now I see you. <laughs> yeah, he's got that sharpshooter feed, though, <laughs> to ignore cover. Yep. I don't know if that matters, but I assume that that helps him. Nope. I mean, yeah, what with, with numbers you gave me? No. I wasn't uh, adjusting his, uh, his AC for that. Sylvia, you're up. All right, my pretty. Um, so this wasp is going to make a uh, attack. Ah. <laughs> this uh, this wasp is going to advance and make an attack on the red slotty. Okay. He misses as well. Uh, this was to be an event to make an attack on the blue slutty. <laughs> okay, he kind of buzzes in that last second. You see the, the blue slutty raises up his hand, then he stings his hand as he brings, puts it up there. It's a glancing blow. So he has to make a con save for that poison damage. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, on a failed save. If the poison damage reduces the target to zero, the target is stable but poison for one hour, even after regaining hit points, and is paralyzed while poisoned this way. Ah! Bastard. Okay, so he took the eight damage, but it's not magical, I'm assuming. Well, since I'll say since you conjured them out of nothingness, then I'll, I'll say they're magical. Uh, well, hang on one second here. Transform... So basically, I use magic to make the insects around me get big. So it's not like they theoretically didn't exist. Right. Yeah, I was always, I was always going so to rule I mean, that they're magical anyway, so you're good. Okay. Um, this wasp is going to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dash to this null here. Okay. This wasp is going to come and make an attack on the blue slotty. Okay. Ooh, oh, damn. My God. God. Holy shit. Okay, you do another con save for him. You ever see a wasp go through a lizard frog? Oh! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, so that's all magical and all doubled. Did it automatically re-roll the, the plus two? Yeah, it, it automatically rolled a, a second damage dice. Okay. But we ruled that crits are uh, automatic, you know, max uh, base damage. Oh, so right? then it's... Uh... So it's 7 plus 6 for the first hit. That's 13. And then it's 12 plus 18. Holy shit. For the uh, second one. So 12 and 18 is 30. And what I said before it was 43 points of freaking damage from a freaking wasp. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, but it's poison. One second. I gotta look that up. I can't remember if they have anything against poison. Look that up real quick. Only to the Britney Spears version of poison. <laughs> nope, not poison. So what I say, I said 30... So that's 30 and... I, I heard 43. 43, yes. 43 points of damage. <laughs> Holy shit. Go ahead and describe how a wasp just took out a freaking slotty if you want, Sylvia. <laughs> um... Well, and but see, hang on. The slotty's not technically dead, dead, because uh, it says if the poison damage reduces the target to zero hit points, the target is stable but poisoned for one hour, even after regaining hit points, and is paralyzed while poisoned in this way. Ah, so he, he's down. He can't move or do anything. He's just gonna chill there, okay. and will stay there for an hour, regardless of anything else that happens. Let me do this. Then I'm gonna kind of lay him down. And I'll give him um, a little token. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna set him on fire. <laughs> uh, okay, he's taking a nap. 
Damn, <laughs> that was pretty good, Sylvia. Freaking yeah! Uh, who the hell gave you that? The wasp shit? like <laughs> the the wasp stung him on the dick. That's what it was. Solid <laughs> thing in there, and uh, yeah. Well, you don't know this, but they're 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 technically like hermaphrodites. They don't they don't have uh, you know male or female parts. <laughs> well, it stung it right in the hermaphrodite dong. Okay. <laughs> or whatever it. He grabs his crotch, or it grabs his crotch. You hit something there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything else, Sylvia? Uh, yeah, Sylvia's going to make an attack. I'm going to lob a firebolt at... Uh... This is a null, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to lob a firebolt at that guy. Okay. Eat shit. Woo! Oh, damn, look at you and your freaking <laughs> crits. Okay, yeah, so that crit worked. Oh, no. Okay, so 37 yeah. freaking points. Oh, wow, just exactly what he had. So, okay, so if you go ahead and describe how you killed two creatures in uh, one round. Yeah, so with ob the obvious distraction of this thing getting uh, stung and it's non-existent bit, <laughs> this null is in shock and terror and missed the fireball that came... And just mashed its uh, its face in. Oh, sweet. That's some pretty powerful fire there. <laughs> it's fire yeah. bludgeoning damage to the face. <laughs> yeah. Anything else, Sylvia? Uh, no, no, that's, uh, that's it. Okay. All right, Diddy's not here. Good guys are up. Okay. These guys are all going to move up closer, but not into the... The fog that's in their way. Oh shit, they can't move there. I'm gonna move up here. No, that's screw it. I'm not moving them anymore. They're moving in position <laughs> to fire it, so. <laughs> There's too many. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so I got a 20, and I got an 18, and the rest miss for those five. Okay, and then the next five. I got one out of five hits, so it's three hits, including one critical. And then the constructs, one, two, three, four of them. One of those hits. And then the elves, one, two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three hits. All right, so who's keeping track? I think there's three from the Mucklestone Guards, one from the construct, three from the elves. Okay, so those guys have these. And any mini mini mo. We're gonna hit this guy. Ooh, but they're not magical. That's that much. And then the construct was going to shoot at well, what they can even see. You know what? Oh, yeah, how about that guy? Since he's right there in front of them. Okay, it's not magical. And then three of the elves are going to shoot over on this side somewhere. So, well, you know, they're going to all go shoot that guy. Two, four, six, seventeen. All three hit him, but he is still standing. And I think that's... Oh, this guy. Da -da -da. He's going to... Oops. Make this guy shrink. <laughs> move over here get out of the way of the uh, actually right up into here didn't want to shoot the wasp he's going to try to shoot this guy here let's do it this way yep that finds his mark ooh he's still standing so he blinks out reappears back this direction and then shoots at this guy If that's the one that's supposed to be laying... No. Nope. I thought it was the red one was laying down. The red one. No, the blue one that he hit with the, the sting and got put down. Oh. All right, so 17. That hits. And then he's going to... Shit. He can't get to the other one. So that's it for his turn. But he is going to back up just a little bit. And... Did I miss anybody? Good guys? Oh, yeah, Cleric. <laughs> oh shit, he's not looking too good. 
but he's going to kind of scream as blood's pouring out of his ear and out of his chest. One more time, he's going to try to hit this, uh, this sigil here. <laughs> he hits it, but clang, and it, make, it doesn't make a difference. Okay, Silith, you're up. All right, uh, so those contracts are on the ground there. Uh, let me do a little. Uh, he's on the ground. Those things are flying, right? The wasp are, yeah. The wasp are flying. He is probably, this is probably okay. Oh, well, I forgot to okay. I forgot some other good guys. Sorry. Hold on a second. Oh, no, so go ahead. Go ahead. I forgot about the, these little dudes. Oh. Little bows and all that junk? I see, I see these all over here. Yeah, these right here that are on the ground. Yeah, these guys are just guardians. So that's oh, uh, where these guys are. No, but I didn't attack with these guys. I, say, I think, uh, actually, I'm standing on a bow. Or no, I was standing one over there. It's over there. I'm on a dead tank. All right, so these guys are basically being controlled by the Mucklestone Guards. So I need to make a wisdom check for those guys to see if they know if this guy's dead. Because <laughs> if they don't, they're going to send them in. Nope, he didn't know. So this guy's rolling in here. He's going to attack <laughs> he ain't this dead. guy that's down. <laughs> he about to be. Well, he gets advantage on the hit. So and I rolled a 2 and a 9. Yay, these guys are awesome, and he misses. So you're lucky, Silith, or S Sylvia, he's still alive. This one's going to stay right where he is. I'm trying to tear him a new asshole. And that hits. Some of that damage. And oh, I should have yelled something on my turn. Ugh. It's going to roll up to here. Actually, no, one more wisdom save. If this guy doesn't know any better, he's also going to attack the blue guy. Ooh, he uh, knows for some reason. So his attack on the knoll misses. Wisdom save for this one. He knows, and he can't quite make it to the knoll. All right, now you can go, Silith. Sorry. <laughs> uh, right. Is that far up here, or is that still alive? Yes. Okay. Oh. It's paralyzed. Is that one paralyzed too? Oh no, sorry. No, the only one that's paralyzed. The only one that you the saw lay body. down is this one. You don't know if anybody's paralyzed. All right, all right. Uh, if I move right here, let me let me do these little little measurements here. Uh, we'll go from here to here to here to here. And uh, that that'd be about yeah that'd probably be wide enough yeah yeah <laughs> all right um I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do this one this should hit everyone uh core 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 and uh, I'm gonna just get the little marker thing out here it's like a like a five feet. Uh, we're gonna go this way, thirty feet. Thirty feet through there. Thirty feet through there. That should hit like um, the center and the red guy and the blue guy. I can't really draw a straight line with this thing. Okay. Uh, is that how far is that? That is. Uh, oh, oops! I clicked. The, I meant to click the. Yeah. <laughs> That's 20 feet, so right right here is where it stops. So let me okay. mark it to again. You're good. You're good. I got it. That's a deck save for a slotty. Um, it's Blue Thomas. slotty's down, so he's kind of done. <laughs> That's right on the edge for him. So I'm going to rule it's five foot tall as well. So unfortunately for you, Sylvia, these guys got to make a save as well. I'll give it to them with advantage since they are flying. Oh, I, th I, I thought they were flying high enough. Because right, they were flying over the top to attack the other guys. So I'm not going to say they were really high in the sky because they were attacking. But I will give them the save at advantage. Okay? So. Okay. So saves. So first one. Oh, eat shit. <laughs> yeah, eat shit with the Oh, second one saves. <laughs> and 
man. I assume the second one is the one that uh, did the killer sting. Unless it was so good, he lost his stinger. No! Uh, it's only half damage you failed. Oh. Harris. And how much? 13? 13. So half that, so right half up or die. Okay, that one. So is that six or seven? It's going to be six. Always round down when you half. That one. Yeah, seven health. And he is toast. No, wait, hang on. He's I'm got one. Gonna... He's got one health. Unless he got hit by something else. No, the hit points are 13. Oh, he's good. And the slotty is no, on the ground. No, because it 13 damage. Oh, and it's fire. Uh-oh, this could be trouble. Uh, oh, that's the one that didn't make the save. Oh, yeah, it's fire damage. I forgot about that. So, let me go back. Uh, and... Uh, and what about this guy and this guy? What's... Yeah, I already, already got, already got him. I didn't do the save for this guy yet, so let me do that for him. Oh, and there's another wasp in there, too. Jesus. I see three three wasps. Three wasps, a slotty, a Baymax, another slotty, a centaur, and a construct. Yeah, I, I, just, I, I just burn. Yeah, I did the constructs as well. One of them failed. Well, I guess the only one that's in there failed, yeah. Yeah. So centaur uh, I'm just going to move this uh, dead wasp into your GM circle. Uh-huh. This wasp died. Okay. Uh, but my fucking... Dr. P also needs to do one for his uh, Baymax, but with advantage, because it's around the edge. He's good. Half right. damage. Half damage. So six. Oh, save. Guess good thing that Temple Cleric's not there anymore, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if you done killing stuff? Uh did the center die from that or no? No, he did not. Uh his tail's on fire, but he's still alive. He only took six. Uh do 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 Action action Oh, oh no, that's wrong list. Not there. Action action Still in action. Yep, no. Uh, I guess uh, I guess that'll be it then. Okay, bad guys are up. Who do I have left? I have one null. That's surrounded by a shit ton of things that are going to kill it. So, he's going to... Yep, yep, yep. And actually, he'll do that next. First, he's just going to attack. He's going to attack any, mini miny, mo. He's going to attack the wasp with a one of these. He drops his bow and does a 16 hit the wasp? It does. Uh, yeah, they only have 13 armor and 14 damage. Uh, toast. All right, let me double check, make sure he doesn't have more than one attack, which I think he does. So swing one at the wasp, swing two at this construct, and he misses. And he's probably going to die. But he does yip, which means this guy will get one additional attack on top of what he's already doing. Any, meeny, meeny, before you, hold that. Before yep. he attacks, he takes... Wisdom save, yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Maybe he just dies. Who knows? <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah. For once. And he says. So he's gonna take. F you. <laughs> half a, half a fifteen. So he's gonna take seven. Yep. He's just still standing though. And he's just going to get pissed off. Still staying within. Oh, the temple cleric can take a opportunity attack. If he wants to, which of course he's going to. <laughs> he rolled a freaking 20! Oh, death, death. Okay, so this plus six. Hey, I rolled a one. One plus six, so seven points of damage. How many did he have left? Oh, are you freaking kidding me? 
Oh, he died. sorry. No, no, no. I was, I was click on the wrong token. Oh. Okay, I was like, <laughs> really? That's great. Uh, he does take some damage. Oh, that's not magical. So that wouldn't have killed him anyway. If that did, if that was the right token I picked on. And he's coming all after you, Silith. He saw that big gulf of fire coming out of your hands or out of the sky, mouth. wherever where it came mouth. from. Yeah, your mouth. <laughs> and he's just pissed off at you because he thinks he's going to die and he wants you to die too. And Defender. Ooh. All right, All right um, so what's the, what's the thing when you, for concentration again, when, when you get hit? When you get a crit, yeah, yeah. you get a concentration save. Yeah, that's it. Uh, concentration save. Save, save, saves. Wrong screen. And who failed so, that earlier? Was that Toman? Toman, was that you that failed the, concent the, the concentration or the constitution save earlier when the slidey hit you? Toman, push to talk. Is he right. there? Maybe he's not there. Okay, so sell it the Yeah, yeah no, he, I think, no, 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 not, not the crit. The, uh, for when you get hit on a spell. I'm doing... Uh, Concentration. Be, 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 be. Yes. It's going to be a DC of, of 10 or half the damage, as I recall. That sound right, Jason? Sorry, what? Like when someone gets hit when they're concentrating, it's a DC of ten or half the damage, whichever is greater. Correct. DC okay. ten or half the damage. Okay. And it is. Let's see. Do 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 do. Armor class eighteen. Do, 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 do. So second one for twenty-eight. Last one twelve. So first two hit. So after two saves and. Yes. No, is it safe? What is it rolling for concentration? First on, first things first. First, 18, that hits, but it's a glancing blow, so it's half damage. Five slashing damage. And if, yep, I'm, so... and if I remember the rule, the concentration is a 10 to to keep your spell going, or half the damage, whichever is greater. Yes. So you got to be... Uh, I'm just trying to get a roll. Concentration. Spells, concentration. But, uh, whenever you take damage, must it... Constitution saving throw for... Yes. Right. Okay. I was wondering what I needed to roll. No, that's charisma. Oh, sorry. I was clicking over the screen. Okay. There you go. Good for what? Is it a save or a check? It says save. Okay. All right. All right. So we took five damage on the first one. The second one was a crit. So you take 11 plus uh, 12. So 23 slashing on that second one. So the main. Minus 19. Do what? 23. Minus. So. Then now the DC is we, uh, 11. 12. 11. Yeah, I do half round of damage. Half below. DC 11. <laughs> you suck. We're still good! <laughs> and the third one doesn't hit. Right. So you took basically took 28 points of slashing damage and kept your uh, your concentration. Oh, what about a... Do I need to make another... A, is it a save? Or you did a perception check for the other one for the tw the critical... For the, what do the, you mean? The, the, claw, the claw thing? Yeah, con save... For the the crit hit, so one more con save. One more con save. This is for the crit hit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as that second one hits you, it just rakes right across your your your, your whole shoulder and your part, part 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 of your chest, and it kind of like its claw pauses for a second, like it's trying to dig deep, and you feel a little tug as it stabs you real hard with uh, with one of the uh, the fangs or one of the claws. So make a note next to your character sheet somewhere that. Uh, you have uh, an extra little gift from the uh, the red slotty. <clears throat> and so to remind me to tell Tolman that as well when he comes back. What? And now for the yip, yip, yip from this guy over here. The red guy takes one more strike at you, Silith. Damn it. Because <laughs> you have pissed him off. He's in this big cloud of swirling Doesn't coins and can't hit shit. Okay, so that's him. The null attacked. Centaur, surrounded by everybody. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Wisdom save? Yep. Oh, yeah. He may not survive this. <laughs> 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 he may not even get the hit. Uh, save. Wisdom. Ah! Nope. <laughs> 15 points, right? 15 points. You see him raise his great sword up in your direction, Silla. And kind of scream out something, and then the, the coin just batter him upside the head, and he falls helplessly to the, to the floor. He's dead. I was hoping he'd choke on one. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so I think that's all my bad guys. Quarren is up. That guy's dead on the ground. He's going to run up here with his monk speed. And how many points does he have left? Shit, if he hits anything, I'm just going to roll this with my dice. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> this pummels the shit out of him. He's dead. Okay, Tolman, you're up. You back? Right. Uh, lost, don't see him yet. I see Professor P said he had to take off. All right, Tolman, if you're there, you need to push the talk. Otherwise, we're going to move on. Okay. Twig, you're up, buddy. All righty. Uh, Twig turns around and fires two shots at the red slot. Okay. Damn. Yeah, both those hit for four and seven of non-magical damage. So that's five. Both of them find the mark, but it is still standing, barely. I mean, he's, he's looking like he's about to fall, but he is still standing. And he will back up just a little bit. All right. Okay, Usul. All right, red slotty right in front of me here. Can do a little poison. Conse poison spray for the red guy, right? That's correct. Okay, uh, show me in what direction are you spraying it? Give me a little arrow or something. Kind of shows the direction you're spraying it. Just bring it that direction? Yep. Okay. Uh, Sileth, give me a deck save with advantage. <laughs> I'll give it to you with advantage. <laughs> uh jeez. Sorry, Sileth. Yeah. I didn't realize you were in there. Sileth does a backflip. Sileth. <laughs> didn't realize he was in there. He's right in front of you. <laughs> I should have given it to him at disadvantage if you said that. <laughs> All right, so deck save or con save, sorry for the for the red guy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> ah, he says, "Wow, screw you, buddy." So we only take six. Ah, uh, it's never. Right. Doesn't say half damage, does it? At least the one you you roll doesn't say half damage. So I'm assuming he takes nothing. That's a cantrip, so I imagine it's it's, it's nothing. Yeah, creature must succeed on a Constitution saving throw or take. 1d12, so you're correct, yeah. Right, okay. All right, anything else? Uh, I'm going to meander around and, and uh, so I can start working on the uh, uh, on this portal here. Okay. Yeah, you guys know there's still two of them here that haven't been destroyed yet. You know, this one and the one underneath this, all this freaking <laughs> carnage here. Okay. Next round, boy, guys, you guys are making me feel bad for doing this. Uh, as Usul makes his walk around this portal, you guys watch as vroom, why did not why did not there it goes it drew another portal erupts right where Usul is standing. And awesome. more come pouring out, guys. But not as many this time. So let me just drop them in here. And then put them on. Oh, shit. Forgot to put them on the right layer. They're coming. I mean, I mean, I've, I've, I've tried twig. I just didn't have much. Yeah, neither did I. Something, some of my skinny cleric arms. All right, so put them all back in here because they're coming out of that. But at least you have portal. full length. Okay, and this guy. Ooh, good timing. He gets a little bit of health back, and everyone else is dead. All right, Doctor P took off. So I'm. Where is Doctor P? He's way over here. He had the right idea. Okay. 
Right, but he's right next to this guy now. So he's going to take his action to disengage like he did before. That was him that did that, right? And then step back. And then he's going to have his little Baymax attack the red guy that's already hurting. And uh, what's his AC? And that finds us Mark for that whopping damage. Doesn't do much. That's it for Dr. P. Sylvia, you're up. Awesome. Uh, first, I'm going to yell at Silith for uh, <laughs> killing the slotty that was down. Uh, I'm going to be like, we could have captured him and got all the information. <laughs> well, uh, good news is you got a lot more to choose from now. Yeah, yeah. That being said, I'm going to Wait, so, oh, yeah. This floss is going to sting the red slotty. Ah! <laughs> I'm actually glad those guys are missing. Those guys do a shit ton of damage. Holy crap. Uh, that was not supposed to move that. Why does this keep doing that? Jesus Christ. Um, what are you trying to do? Sorry, for some reason, when I try to move the, the wasp, my like entire map I don't know why. <laughs> Your entire map moves? Yeah, like... It's like I select the map and the wasp at the same time. Okay. It's friggin' weird. Um, anyways, I'm trying to move, uh, I guess, wasp, that wasp, to here so it can attack the red slotty. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Was that his attack you rolled there, or was that the other ones? <laughs> uh, that was the other one. That was the other yeah. one. Either way, they both don't hit. And then this wasp is going to going attack that center. Centaur, sorry. There you go. Let's see if this guy rolls like shit, too. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's wasp it. Shit, I'm loving it. <laughs> Don't you have one more somewhere? I thought you had five of them. To, to no, them. two of them died. Oh, two of them are dead already? That's right. You moved one off the map a little bit. Okay, anything else, Sylvia? Um, yes. So Sylvia is actually going to take her turn. So in this jumble, the, there's a red slotty, a blue slotty, and two centaurs. Correct. You just saw three more, or two centaurs and a blue slotty come out of the portal. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Need your action, Sylvia. Oh, uh, sorry. Hang on. I just want to. Ah, uh, no. Okay, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is. If I move away, that slide is going to get an attack of opportunity and possibly the centaur. I don't know until I should do it. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to fly. One. Son of, I can't move. I'm going to move Sylvia back to here. Okay. Oops. The She's going to fly back there. All right, so hold on one second. When you get one of these in your direction. Oh. And, and you'll get one of these in your direction. Which one is it? Yeah, that one. Ow. So I'm assuming 18 hits you. 13 points of piercing damage. Yeah, that, that hurts. Uh, sorry, how much you say? You say 13. Uh, 13. Okay. Whatever, it's cool. I got it. Someone's got to take damage in this party. <laughs> um, okay, now I'm going to cast... Oh, I'm going to cast... Uh, Scorching Ray, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast a third level spell. And that gives me an extra ray. And I'm going to send a firebolt at each of the... Uh, two firebolts at each of the centaurs. Okay. Two at each of them? Uh, yeah. Okay. So four total. Four total. Okay. okay. Let's see them. Survey says... And Why do they keep whispering? Your character sheet may be set to uh, whisper. Oh my god. Jesus <laughs> friggin' Christ. <laughs> no! Oh. That was four of them, right? That, that was, was all four, all four of, them. of them missed. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's embarrassing. You guys watch as these rays of like fire come raining out of the sky. It's kind of laying right next to the centaurs over and over again. <laughs> See one centaur kind of rub his hands together, put his hands over like it's a little campfire. <laughs> Anything else, Sylvia? Uh, no, I'm just going to fly a little bit higher up with my remaining movement okay. and cry. Okay, so just to recap, I think uh, Sylvia had a combined uh, nine attacks on that round, or maybe seven. Seven attacks on that uh, round. Seven. <laughs> None of them hit? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that would be it. Wow. You know, it, it, it's, 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 uh, feast or famine here, guys. Come on. <laughs> I, I killed one slotty with a wasp. You guys need to start pulling your weight here. Jeez. I mean, I've, I've murdered a lot of things. <laughs> like, not Only a little. the last three turns count at most. Okay, good guys are up. I'll start with this guy down here. Uh, he's going to take his 30 feet of movement. Take a shot at this guy. Yeah, that hits. And then he's going to blink and reappear here and shoot at this guy. Yep. And he blinks out again, reappears here, and he shoots at this guy. Damn. All right, then. So, 14 and 14 and 16. All right, let's get the Temple Clerics all the way before I forget about him. Uh, he's going to try to hit this freaking thing again. And he does. Ah! Just can't seem to kind of break through. Didn't hit it hard enough. Okay, now five. That's okay. Write this down this time, Brian. Two hits. One, two, and one, two, three, and a crit. And then four of those. That's the one hit. And the elves. One, two, three, four. So I have five of them, right? That's one hit. And then the demolishers. We'll just say they're all gonna... Oh shit, these two can't make it. These two will make it up here. Right up in his ass. And they both miss. The other two are just gonna roll up this direction. If I can get to the other one. Okay, so five, six, seven normal hits and one crit. Two, three, four, five. All right, so boom, boom, boom. They all getting pummeled with these. And some of that. I love doing quick math in my head, so I'm not 100% sure this is going to be all accurate, but I think it's going to be pretty damn close. And then I got a crit. That's that many. I'll put it on this guy in the center. And, yep, that's all of them. That's all my good guys, right? I got the hooded guy, I got the temple cleric, and I got all the guards and the elves. I didn't miss anybody, did I? Um. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, the demolisher. I forgot that one. No, they didn't hit, did I? They didn't hit. Didn't hit. All right, Silith, you're up, buddy. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, so surrounded by unhappiness. So Silith is going to do this. Uh, uh, Silith is going to channel divinity, cloak of shadows, and will be invisible until the end of his next turn. Ah, lucky you. And then he's going to move somewhere away. Uh, climb right around back here, but he's invisible. Yeah, I didn't mean to turn the centaur white. I was trying to get you to do that. <laughs> Clicked on the wrong freaking token, so hold on. It's all good. I was moving, that's why. <laughs> Alright, bad guys are up next. Is that all you're going to do, Silith? Uh, that was my, I was like, that's my action, and that is my move. And I don't think I have a bonus action that I can use at the moment because I have no spell points. So, the oh wait 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 wait. Uh, changing weapons is that uh, um, bonus action or action? If you don't have the dual we- dual wield feat, you can't like stow one weapon and draw another one in your same round. You'd have to like drop one weapon weapon to pull out another one. If that makes sense. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, no, I'll just, I'll just chill then. Okay. All yeah. Right. Bad guys are up. Okay, so I got four of them. First things first, this guy right here. Con save. Or, yeah, wisdom save. Yeah, yeah, you suck. <laughs> he did. Let's see. Con save? It was a whiz save, right? Wisdom. Yeah. Wiz save, wiz save. Yeah, that's what they're really good at. All right, so that was 15 points, right? 15 points of damage. And he is still standing, barely. What? It's terrible. Okay, and then he's going to try to take out his anger and his last breath on this poor old temple cleric right there. So one, two, and three. Oh, shit. All right, so what's his AC? It's that much, so... Oh, wow, the first one hit him <laughs> and killed him. <laughs> so he hits him once with, the, with his claw, but he starts falling backward. You see him reach around the other claw and, like, stick it right into his neck. And he holds him up in the up in the uh, the air off his feet, and then he kind of just chomps right into his side and rips his whole gut out. So his entrails are kind of just hanging out there, dripping down into the stone below, and he's dead. Okay, so Centaur's up next. He looks around and says, holy shit. A whole lot of bad guys here. Eeny, Gets pelted with coins. Low. Yep. We save. <laughs> yep. That's awesome. Let's go and do it for the other guy while I'm here. Yep. Those guys are awesome. Start looking around and <laughs> just getting pelted with these freaking <laughs> coins over the place. I'm wondering what in the hell is going on. It's 15, right? 15. Okay, and this guy. Did I do it for the blue one yet? Just Lottie? Just did it for the red one and the two center. They haven't done it for the blue slot yet. Let's go get that one out of the way. Yeah, yeah, that that's good. Okay. All right, now I can do my attack. Who did I say I was going to do it? Um, oh, yeah, the centaur is going to be up first. Any mini money mo. Uh, unfortunately, Sylvia, you're the one he sees right as soon as he comes out, so he's going to trample up towards you. Okay. Uh, how high can he reach? Oh yeah, you're in the air, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let me re- rethink that. He sees you, and he's got his longbow out because he has one of those. Mm. And he can do that one twice. Um, wow. Is there like a short range disadvantage? Not not that it matters, it looks like. No, he, no. I, I didn't move him. I, he, kept, he stayed right there. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. I mean, he may uh, move up a little bit, but he, yeah. he sees you in the air and takes his bow out and shoots twice and misses badly because he sucks. And, then, and I do one of these nan any boo boos and you know <laughs> my taunt, taunt. He yeah. taunt. I know what I, he's so <laughs> impressed about how you missed everything that he thought, oh yeah, I can do that too. 
<laughs> Nate, oh, you know what it is? I have a curse. I'm yeah. cursed with missing. That must be it. All right, so this guy is going to, let me double check the distance. He should be able to reach him. Oh, yeah. So, Seleth, I want you to make me a deck save at, no, actually a dex check with advantage because he was running right towards Brevin. He may bump into you. <laughs> uh, dex check, that's just clicking on the, yeah, uh, at advantage? Yes, because you're invisible. I'll uh, give you that. Yep, you're able to kind of step out of the way as he comes rumbling right by you. And he's going to try to tear into this uh, hooded guy. <laughs> so we got one. Why does no one ever try to leave the Hailstorm of Coins? Because they don't give a shit. They're just trying to kill people. Okay, so 16, 14, 19. The last one hits. <coughs> and then this centaur is going to look around here. Hmm. And he's going to run up to here. Get rid of all your... Ooh, no he doesn't. There's too many damn bad guys there. Too many damn knives and everything else. Ah, oh, fuck it. He's stupid. He's running right into this shit. <laughs> One, two, three, four, um, five. Do I get an attack of opportunity on him? Uh, you'll give up your invisibility. Uh, didn't say that for the thing. Said I'm in... That's pretty much how invisibility works no matter what. If you attack uh... when you're invisible... Kind of give up your position there. Oh, Matter of fact, it should say that. If you attack or cast a spell, you lose it, right? Uh, I don't think it actually does. Hold on. Let me bring it back up. Uh, it says... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Channel of Unity. Uh, of Shadows. You oh, yeah. No, there it is. You become visible if you attack or cast a spell. Never mind. Yes. Okay. So you want it's to do right an opportunity right attack or not? No, nah, no. Nah, I'm good. It's right at the end. Okay. All right, so let's see who he's going to attack. And there is no sixth target. One, two... Oh, yeah, there is. One of the wasps. Great. He runs up there and he's going to attack this poor little wasp. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's exactly what a centaur would do. Uh, wham. Onto the wasp. I'm assuming 23 hits that wasp and the wasp just explodes in the air. Is that correct, Silith? Or, uh, Sylvia? Pardon? He attacked the wasp right above him. Sorry, I didn't hear you. A 23 to attack and a 14 slashing damage. I'm assuming that wasp went poof. Correct? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then his other attack is going to go at this little construct here. Does Toman get an attack of opportunity? Uh, Toman? Where is Toman? I don't even see him in there. No, he's, he's, right, right, he's right in the middle of all you guys. He ran right into all you guys. Okay. I'm going to get a one-off on him real quick. No, you don't get an opportunity attack. He, he engaged oh, he right not. in the middle okay. of all you guys, is what I'm saying. He ran right in the middle of you guys, he attacked this wasp and killed it, and now he's going to attack the uh, the construct uh, right here as well. Whoops, I just put a big red X on the centaur. That's awesome. He's feigning <laughs> death. He's faking it. Real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if I can ever get this attack off for the demolisher. And that misses. And then as a bonus action, he's going to hoof onto this uh, construct there as well. Can he hit anything today? Nope, he can't hit shit. So he's just going to sit there and die. All right, that's a bad guy. That's a bad guy. Um, did I attack with this guy? Oh, yeah, he's the one that killed the, the, the cleric. All right, that's it. Corn's up. Nice. He's death all around. He's shit. Everybody's in a freaking way. Can't get to anybody. Oh, he's a monk. He can go all over the place. So he's going to rock. Get right up in the middle of both of them. And he's just. Oh, fuck it. He's going to attack this uh, red slot here because he's about to die. Yeah, it's two hits. How many hit points does he have left? He's dead. <laughs> Kabam! Second hit. Drops him. That's it for corn. Toman, you're up. Okay, shooting at the centaur right here. Okay. And I miss. Second shot. There you go. There you find your mm -hmm. mark. 
and he'll get Colossus damage. If you... um, eight points. Eight points total? Damage? Total, correct. Okay. Yes. All right, so you kind of go down to one knee and shoot up in the air, and it goes right by him, and you twist to the side a little bit, and you shoot a bolt right into his gut. Anything else, Tillman? Finally hit something. Um, <laughs> no. I'm good, thank you. Okay, Twig, you're up. Buttercup shoves her way in and attacks that poor centaur. All right. Well, attempts to attack that poor centaur. <laughs> <laughs> and Twig still has his bow in his hand, unfortunately, so all he can do is use it. And since he's got a centaur, he's going to shoot at him, which is not a bright thing to do, but... Disadvantage, right? Yep. Okay, well, that second one finds his mark. Four points. And he's looking really rough. He's got a bolt in his gut, and his guts are kind of hanging out the bottom there. Your, your bolt kind of strikes him right in the shoulder. He's having a hard time holding his axe up anymore. He's barely standing, but he is still. That's all Twig does. Okay, Sewell. Okay, I'm going to uh, attack the, uh, the coffin or whatever this thing is right in front of me. And I am going to do that with a, um, uh, where'd it go? You're attacking the stone? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, the portal area. Okay, yep. Just like the, the cleric was doing. Yeah, the mark was kind of like right in here is where he made the first, uh, I guess, dent on it, so to speak. So if you're going to hit that one, you got to move over there to it. Unless you're going to start another, a new spot. No, I can, I can move right over to it. How about okay. that? Yep, okay. Just making right. sure you're clear on that. No, you're doing sort of flame blade, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... That way I don't ruin my, uh, my regular sword. That's fire damage, right? All fire damage? Is that correct? That is correct, yep. Yeah. Okay, so you strike it with the flame. You see kind of the, the flames lick over the stone a little bit, but the runes still look fully intact. Give me a wisdom, me a wisdom uh, check there, Uthul. All right. I'm looking for you. Yeah. Okay, while he's doing that, it's round zero. All right, as you strike that thing with your uh, your flame blade, it dawns on you that, you know, flame is probably not going to do much to stone. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> not the best idea, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so that one's dead. This one gets a little back. And we're good. Dr. Good, P. Dr. P. Dr. P took off. So Dr. P is going to move back a little bit. And he's going to shoot a crossbow bolt. And I think he has some kind of sharpshooter thing. So it's like minus three to everything he does. So let's see. Does he have it up here? What's this do? Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Uh, okay, screw it. I'm going to do it like this. And he's got a crossbow. I'll assume it's that one. And I'll assume it's this and that. Yeah, that hits. Six points of damage. Actually, it's not magical, is it? Yeah, it's got the scope. I'll say it's magical. Then he instructs Baymax to <laughs> dig in here a little deeper. Totally surround this centaur and give it an attack. And it misses. And that's it for Dr. P. Sylvia. Yes. Okay. I am so ripped to rip shit up. Oh. I'm going to move some of the carnage so. out of here a little bit, guys. That the body
Okay. Uh, that changed a little. But what I am going to do is I am going to cast chaos or this wasp. Son of a bitch, it's doing it again. Ping, where are you trying to move to? Anyway, the, uh, just right next to this blue slotty. Okay. And uh, it's going to make a sting attack. <laughs> oh, for fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. Yes, that's, a, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> this wasp is going to attack the centaur over there. This wasp is? Yeah. Okay. Let's see it. Hey, look at oh. that. <laughs> this barely got him. Okay, so it's a con save for him, right? Yeah. Con save. And it's half as much on a successful one. So he takes half damage on the, the poison damage, right? Uh. So Taking 10, 3d6 poison damage on a failed save or half as much on a success. So it's okay. 3 piercing damage and Plus then seven. it takes 7 poison damage. Yep, so a total of 10. Because it passed the save. Alright. Takes a pretty good shot. You can see it kind of woozy a little bit, but it is still standing there. Okay. And then for... Uh, so which of the uh, monoliths are still up? Are All still of them or... I mean, they haven't been smashed. Finished. Yeah. This one, this one hasn't been smashed, and neither has this one right here. Okay. They both have one mark on them. Okay, well, anyways, Sylvia is going to, uh, to acid splat that plinth. Okay. Let's see what happens. You got the range for that? About 60 feet. Okay. Yeah. Is that an attack roll to hit, or is that like a some kind of a save thing? It's a cantrip. You hurl a bubble of acid, choose one creature within range, or choose two creatures within range that are within five feet of each other. Target must succeed on a dex saving throw or take 1d6 of damage, does it say? Okay, just roll damage in. There's, there's no save for a inanimate object. Uh, can it can it also hit the uh, centaur then as well, since it's within 5 feet of the plinth? Uh, okay, well, if we do that, then I'm going to do a save for him, and if he saves, then it doesn't hit the, hit the, the stone as well, if you try to hit both targets. Oh. So which do you want to do? You want to take the sure thing, or you want to try okay, to get both I'll of just, them? Okay, I'll just, uh... Uh, you know, I'm going to try and get both of them, because, you know, that's cool. Whatever. Okay. So it's a deck save, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spell save DC. Half damage. Ah, son of a... Half damage. Mm, so no, I think it might be... Your spell save is 16, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So it's a glancing blow. That's the same as saying it's half damage. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to roll your damage. You said it's 1d6? Yeah. Okay, go and roll your damage. I did. It's a 4. Oh, 4. Okay. Oh, I, yeah. Okay, so he takes 2 points. <laughs> he still barely stays. He's A bunch of acid kind of goes aside, kind of sizzles aside of his face, and he's like just... Barely standing, like stumbling, about to fall over, but he is still standing. And you see a little bit drop onto the uh, the stone over here, but you can't tell from that vantage point if it did any more damage or not. Okay, then... Um, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, so then I'm going to uh, use Quicken Spell and cast another spell as a bonus action. That cost me two sorcery points. Okay. And uh, sorry. And with that, I'm going to do another uh, 
Let's go with uh, an acid splash again. Okay, you're trying to get both of them again? Yeah. Okay, so another deck save. Ooh. Yeah, so he fails this time. And five acid damage. Sizzle him again. This time you get the whole side of him, his, his front quarter and everything, and his knee buckles. And he drops to the ground, his head goes clunk. He hits right there on the stone, and big kind of hole opens up in his skull. You see kind of a little bit of gray matter kind of come out on the, on the stone. And you also hit, okay. how much damage was it? It was five, right? Yeah, five acid damage. Okay, and you watch some of the, the acid kind of splash off the centaur onto the stone. You see that kind of sizzle and some smoke roll up there. You see some sparks kind of sh shimmering around where that rune was. Again, your vantage point, you can't really see if it did any damage or not. And so awesome! You, and so you don't see this mark either. <laughs> that is put on the map. Yeah. Okay, is that it for your turn, Sylvia? Uh, yeah, because my other wasps are dead. Okay. And Diddy's back there. Good guys are up. Let's start with this guy. He is going to... Oh, does he want to drop his bow? He is not. He's going to back up. And he'll get an opportunity attack. The blue guy will. Ugh. Takes a little bit of damage as he retreats back. He's going to retreat back a little further, and he's going to fire at this guy. He's going to fire a second time without disappearing. Both of them hit. That's it for his turn. Other good guys. Wow, one out of five hits. These guys are awesome. And then the other five. Just one, two more. And then the constructs. It's two hits. And then the elves. A crit. And then the Demolisher. The guys with all the swords, all of them are just one, two, three of them. Wow, they all miss. Alright, so those three. That much. Let's see. They're all going at... No, everything they're shooting is right here. So... And then two more of these. And then a crit. Just enough. These things get all these bolts hit, and that one drops dead. Okay, so that was everybody except for the demolishers, which I said didn't hit. So they would have come over here, and probably over here. That's it for the good guys. Silith. Silith is gonna move his college. Uh, Sorry, you broke up our little bit. I didn't catch all that. Uh, I've moved over, and I'm going to give it another good old college try on this stone here. Okay. <sighs> mm. That's with uh, your Mace of Storm, right? Mace of Storms. Okay. So you crack into it, and you see it kind of crack a little bit, and goes dim. Ta-da! Magic. And I will proceed my remaining move that way. Wait, okay. hold on. That, that guy's still alive, right? It looks like he's still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. Yeah, Gosh. I'm good right there. <laughs> okay. He's, now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> on his turn, yes, he may be dead. <laughs> Anything else, Silith? No, uh, I'm done. Okay, so bad guys, I have one left, right? Just him. Yep. <laughs> Do so. wisdom save. Wisdom save. Oh shit! Is it half on a on a fail? Half on a fail. Okay, he's dead. Or half half yeah, half on a save. So yeah. there are right. no more bad guys. That's it. 
Okay, uh, Quarren stands up. Well, actually, he's already still standing up. He's going to run over here next to you, Silith, and proceed to pound the shit out of this stone as he's screaming everybody else to do the same. That's two hits. What's his damage? I think it's D8s now. That's what I'm going to say. Anyway. It's plus... Uh, let me pull up his character sheet. Sorry, I want to see what his plus is. Plus six. So yeah, so one of them does some damage. So he makes a secondary crack. With one of his shots. And that's it for his turn. Tillman, you're up. Alrighty then. Let's see what we've got. Actually, what do I have near me? Uh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. every everything's dead. Only the rocks remain. All right. Um. Well, with a strength that of eight, I'm not gonna. Well, I might as well try something <laughs> against it. Um. Oh, I don't even have. I guess I can try a dagger just to scratch out the runes, um, or damage one of the runes. I don't even have a blunt weapon. Yeah, just like before, oh, you have the, to drop your uh, the crossbow you had in your hand if you're going to pull out the, a dagger. Unless you have well, to do I'll use that as my bonus action because I got to move over there. Bonus action. Well, I'm I have I dual wield anyway, so I can draw the. No, uh, do you have the dual wield feet though? The dual wield feet is what allows you to stow a weapon and draw another one. Well, I don't have to. I, I can have a weapon in each hand. Currently, I only have the crossbow out, so I can draw the dagger, walk over, and just start scratching at one of the runes. Oh, you're either saying, or you know, you know, you're saying you don't have to stow the uh, the crossbow. That's fine. Right. If something else shows up, you won't so, be able to load your crossbow then. Right. Okay. I'm cool with that. So it's a hand crossbow, right? Yes, sir. Okay. That's cool. Difficult terrain to get through all the the bloody carnage that's through there. Because man, there's a lot more dead bodies in there than what you're seeing. <laughs> Should have been difficult terrain for Silith as well, but. From now on, that anything in that area is going to be difficult terrain. Okay, well, I've only got a movement of 25. I've... So difficult is half, which is, what, 12. Yep. Does that get me close enough to where I can work on one of the runes, or am I not going to be able to get right here? Uh, no, 12 feet wouldn't quite get you there. 12 feet would get you, you know, right about here. If you can see my thing. All right. That is where I'll move, then. Okay. Actually, um... And you can yeah, use your that's full movement and dash... Just won't be able to do anything when you get there. That's your call. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just move. Okay. And be done. Okay, Twig. So I'll be ready next. Twig begins moving toward it, but he can't get any further than the foot of that stupid. Okay. All right. Anything with Buttercup? Buttercup is uh, growling at the dead centaur on the ground. <laughs> okay. Uso? I will drop my useless flaming blade and whip out my long sword and hit it. Okay. <laughs> well, the good news is you think you hit it. <laughs> the bad news is no one else saw you hit it. <laughs> you know, I think that's the only, uh, that's one point of damage that I have done this entire uh, uh, fight. Hey, you had a couple good heals there, though. It really helped out. I did get a couple <laughs> good heals. Woo-hoo! And that's all I got. Okay. What round is this? Oh, you freaking kidding me. All right. I got to make a roll. Here, I'll do it out in the open. I've been doing this behind the scenes, so you guys will see oh, this. You I'm also visible, by the way. Okay. Ah, oh, you lucky bastards. Okay. Nothing comes up. Nobody heals. Dr. P is up. Um, he's not here. He's just going to kind of look around. Baymax! Where are you, Baymax? And Sylvia, you're up. Awesome. Um, I'm going to fly a bit closer to the stone. Because uh, there's only one stone left now, right? 
Only one stone left that still has its runes somewhat glowing, yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have both my watch <laughs> sting at the runes to try and deface. I don't know how that's going to work, but... You, you want both of them to fly into this, you said? Uh, yeah, make a, a sting. <laughs> okay. At it. Maybe it'll paralyze it? I don't know. Okay, they won't have difficult terrain. They probably got plenty of movement. What's their speed? Uh Oh, their speed is flying uh, 50 feet. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn it. Sense. They could have attacked earlier. I thought it was 30. <laughs> I was looking at something else. Where is the other one at? Wait, do you guys have a... By the way, you should know that these also have a swim speed of 50 feet. I don't quite understand. A swim but... speed? I've never seen yeah, a wasp swim. swim. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. These are giant wasps. <laughs> you know, like, rules is written. That's all I'm saying. Rules is written. Okay, sure. It's raw. It's raw, guys. Okay. Uh, first thing attack. Woo! Damn, look at that. Okay, so it's piercing and it's poison damage, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Stinger finds a smart chink. Don't see any change on the runes. Next one's going in, like, aiming for the same spot. Holy, come on. Like, when we're fighting Slotty, this <laughs> couldn't come out. Like, really? Yeah. Same thing. Chink. Don't see a change in the rune color. Okay, and I'm going to acid splash the uh, the rune. Okay. Is that a, oh, it's, a, it's an automatic save, right? Well, it's an auto hit. Unless, yeah, it's an auto hit. Uh, cause... One second, I'm trying to fix uh, Silas' token here real quick. I don't know why it's, it did 2d6 there. I. Yeah, weird. I want, oh, because uh, I'm above fifth level. Ah, okay. All right, so I need uh, Usul, Silith, Corn, and Toman. All make me a deck save with advantage. No, because mine says choose one creature within range or choose two creatures within range that are within five feet of each other. Yep, I get that. Which I, but by rule, oh. this is Acid Splash. So I'm going to roll. They're all standing right next to it, pummeling it, and you're throwing an acid splash in there. Someone's got to take a chance of getting hit. At advantage? Woo! Yep, get your deck save at advantage. <laughs> what's the what's the save on it? 16. 15. 16, one six. One six. Okay. Yeah. You got to oh. do one for corn? Oh, yeah, shit. I forgot I'm corn. <laughs> I'm sitting waiting for <laughs> corn to do something. <laughs> oh, he's got to do a deck save? What's his plus nine? So, yeah, he's going to. Probably pass this with flying colors. Yeah. All right. And wasn't there someone else that still had to do it? Who else did I say? I did it. I got a 20 without a... Toman. Uh... Is Toman here? Yes. Okay. Give me a deck save with advantage, Toman. Deck save. Coming up. Okay. He, he whispered it to me, but he, he passed as well. But it finds its mark. You see it sizzle a little bit. You see some of the runes kind of crack a little bit. And then they go dark. That rune is now destroyed. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, is that second or third hit? i got to zoom in there to see. Um, side note, I'd like to use mending as a bonus action on the plinth. One second. I gotta, can you guys see if that's, if that's two strikes or three on that one? got to move some shit around. It's oh, two. That's three. Oh, that's three. The other one's like gray on there. Yeah. That's two. I see it. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that one's destroyed. Three. Okay, I'm sorry. You said you're doing a mending action on what? I was just, I was just making a joke that I was going to use mending as a bonus action on uh, the plinth I just destroyed. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so you guys are standing over a huge pile of corpses, uh, mostly bad guys. I think uh, all the good guys that did die are kind of outside the perimeter out there a little bit. This tree over here is still on fire. Um, I forget who did who set that thing on fire over there. So, I did. <laughs> are you keeping your sanctuary yeah, going, Silas? Totally. Sanctuary's not going. The spirit guardians, we're out of combat. Okay. 
Okay, right. it, 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 it can go for 10 minutes, so technically I can just keep... <laughs> okay, it's your call. 60 rounds, we only did like 48 rounds. I had 12 more rounds. Okay. All right, what are you guys doing? We're out of uh, initiative round here. Twig starts looking for his arrows and tells Buttercup to do the same. Okay. Anybody else? I'm going to see if I can uh, reclaim any of the bolts out of the bodies that I actually did hit. Okay. Now I'm going to say with the I, many arrows that, uh, that fired out there, you guys can probably find three quarters of everything you lost. That are three still, quarters? Yeah, that are still, that are still usable. Um, I'll give, uh, I was going to say, I'll give uh, Toman, Silith, and Buttercup. I don't know if Twig or... Who else needs healing? But I, I, I can give the three of them um, a whack with my staff. Okay, go and roll it if you want to do that. I'm going to do a little organizing while you guys are doing this. <laughs> Ooh. As you guys are kind of tending to your wounds and everything, more of the guards kind of come walking up and kind of shaking your hands and, and congratulating you guys on the fight. And you see more more will even show up behind them, and they're all kind of standing somewhat of a circle around this entire area. All of them got the crossbows kind of at the ready in case something else comes through. Um, eventually, this uh, hooded figure is going to walk up to you guys. Uh, let's see. He'll actually walk up to one of the elves first. So we'll pick Usul since Corner's not here. He's going to walk up to you first, Usul, and kind of extend a hand and uh, say say to you in Elvish, you know, thank you for your help. But I uh, feel like there's maybe more on the way. Hmm. Um, I'll just take the 10 HP. <laughs> I'm sorry? Oh, it's Usul healing us. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I picked up a little, little, little friend. Uh, am I aware of this little friend? Do I know about it? Um, it's going to be a really I'm high a- DC, but give me a uh, medicine check. Oh, which one? You blanked. Medicine. Medicine. Yeah, that was what I was going to ask, because I know s- something was put into me. I just didn't know what it was. Okay. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to use a cantrip. Uh, a cantrip. Can I... Uh, can I assist with the uh, medicine check, if that's the case? No, because he's trying to determine I... what's inside of him, right? Or what happened to him. I'm not sure how right, I'm assist gonna... from somebody else would help with that. I, I, I got this. I got this. I'm gonna... Hey, hey Tolman. If something yeah. feels funny. Does something feel funny to you? You, yeah, you, you when, tell, when you tell me if something feels funny. sliced me open, it felt like <laughs> something got pushed into me. Uh, right here on my chest when he sliced me. And I prod the, the damaged Lump. area. All right, so you get you get a you get a roll a d4, and then you could add that to your to your medicine check. The four. It would still be a medicine check for Toman as well, yes. Correct. Holy mackerel! Wow. So do a medicine roll, and he did. Oh, he did. He did plus yep. plus four. Um, so twenty-two. Tolman, you're still not entirely sure what this thing is. What 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 happened? You don't know if it was poison. You don't know if you got a fang stuck in you or or a claw. You're not sure what it is. Uh, yeah, it's, something's in there. I just don't know what it is. So then maybe uh, we could go back to town. Somebody can take a look. Okay, so it's, so it's going to be like I can have to be opened back up. So so it's going to kind of freak out a little bit and be like, can can we can I can I cut this out? You want to cut it out of me now? You, me, here's a knife. Okay, now, hold on, guys. You have no idea <laughs> what or if yeah, anything is inside I, I, you. I, oh, I thought you said he was aware that something was there. No, he's not. Oh, I mean, okay, he, okay. The he way doesn't you know if, he just, if it's poison. He'll know if you got a piece of a, a claw stuck in him. I mean, he doesn't really know, you know what it was. Oh, okay, I thought the way you were saying it, you meant he knew something was in him. He just, no, no, what? He still, oh, has, he still something? has no idea. I'm oh, here. I we just, just lost a couple people. Oh, lost them on uh, roll twenty. Yeah, Twig's still here, but who else dropped out? I don't know, Silith, but I'm I'm not feeling good. 
that that fight took everything out of me. I wouldn't mind taking going back to the town and finding a healer, seeing if they know something about this. I've never fought these creatures before. Okay, quick but question, question out of character. Um, who who was I'm trying to remember the last time something like this happened? It was back in Ninjast, I think. Was that just Usul yes. and uh, and uh, Quorum that were around? Usul and Quorum were around. Okay. The rest of us were. Uh, that time in Ingest was still at the. No, that was the, after the cave, so no, that would have been uh, Kirill. Right. Can I hear this conversation? What? Well, you guys, Tolman and Phil, you tell me. Are you speaking this out loud or you keep it entire yourselves? No, we're. So um, we're, we're, we're totally. I'm totally out loud. We like, get it? <laughs> what the. <laughs> Yeah, something's not right. And then I have a, just out of character question. The elf, when he walked up to Asul, did he say out loud in Elvish that there are more coming? Because I speak Elvish, and if he did, I want to I'd react to that. Yeah, the, the, the exact words or something along the lines of, I'm glad to have your help, elf, but I feel there may be more coming. And my head will snap around and go, more are coming here? We are not prepared for this. Are you saying that in Elvish? Yes, I'm re- I'm, I s- repeat that in Elvish, just what I said. Okay, and the hooded figure kind of looked your direction a little bit. It says, little man speaks Elvish. He's still speaking in Elvish. He says, uh, I didn't mean to alarm you, but you saw how many came through here. I have no doubt that uh, they won't stop just from that. I have no idea how, I have no idea when, but I got to believe this is not the, the last time. They try to uh, take this place. Maybe we need to find Diddy and find out if that, if they're safe down underneath the city. It's like, uh, I take it that you guys are the, the party that Joe Dell was talking about. You guys are the hey. ones. Uh, kind of looks around a little bit, needing the passage to uh, Limbo. I just nod. Not. Okay. That's correct. All right, so. Before that, Usul, give me either a a history or a how do I want to do this? History or history or medicine to see if you remember uh, something similar to this last time you guys fought them. Uh, regular or advantage or anything? Uh, roll it so it shows with advantage. I'm not telling you if it's advantage or not. Okay. Uh, yeah, you uh, as you see Tolman kind of and, and hear them talking back and forth, this is starting to ring a bell with what happened to, uh, was it Porto back in Ninjast? Yeah, I think it was Porto. Okay, and you, I think, I can't remember, who all went down into the basement whenever Porto had the procedure done to him? Do you guys remember? If it, I know at least I one or two of you with him. As he wouldn't have been Silith. Corn may have went that Brian? I'm sorry? It was what procedure? You weren't there. It would have been either the only people in this party that would have been there would have been Usul or Quarren. And I'm just asking mainly Usul. Do you remember if you were in the room with him when he had the procedure done? I I believe I was. Okay. I seem to recall you were as well. Alright, so between you and Quarren, you guys got a inkling that this may be what is inflicted into one, if not both of these guys. So Feel free to share that information if you choose to. Uh, I'm going to turn to uh, Brevin and ask if there's anything that can be done for my friends. He kind of looks at you somewhat, you know, puzzled. And says, "What do you What do you mean? What What needs to be done to them?" Okay, I'll I'll just keep it to myself for now then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to give a loud whistle. Uh, Calling, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my faithful companion to me. Ah, okay. I think I had him on the map there somewhere, way up to the north uh, west of the screen, or northeast. Do you see okay. him up there? I'm looking. Well, I can drop him in for you. Where's good old Rufus? Did you find him? Uh, not yet. Bear no. with me. I'll drop him in. There you go.
Okay, I still don't see him. What's going on? Right here? Oh, sorry. I'm blind as a... <laughs> well, there's a lot of shit on this map, so I don't, I'm not blam I don't blame you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to crawl into uh, the saddle and just pat his neck because I'm sure he's going to be freaking out a little bit. And uh, just whisper to him, just get down, old friend. Get me back to town. We've got to find a healer. So it's just going to be like... Well, um, how how I say still isn't really inebriated anymore. He's kind of cleared things up, didn't he? Oh no, he's he's still half drunk. Yeah, he's still got oh. disability on it or disability <laughs> disadvantage on your ability checks. One level of exhaustion because you're so drunk. I thought okay, I thought there was something that I'd done that had fixed that, but I don't remember. Uh, oh no, it was I, I. No, no, I had been hasted. That's what I was. It was increased my movement and all that. Yeah, but that didn't cure your uh, no, no, got you, got you. Yeah. Nope. So, uh, so I'm just gonna try and stumble back with Toman. Yeah, I was, actually, I was just about to say, so Rufus isn't big enough to carry both. Wait, of us. Are we, but we're we're kind of been like explained now what's what's going on, what we they think's going on, right, Asul? No, he said he kept it to himself. Oh, he kept it to himself. Yeah. Now I'm gonna say uh, we should we should go and. Report back to Joe Dale and let him know what has transpired. And so it's going to like poke the lump. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, poke his lump and be like, yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I imagine Quarren would not hold back if he knew this. Uh, based on what he's played before, he's, he'd probably bring it up to you guys. The fact that this, uh, uh, if you felt something strange when one of them hit you, that um, it may, he has no idea for sure, it may have been the same thing that happened to Porto, uh, a friend they used to, uh, I guess, adventure with, that went kind of crazy and got put in prison. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, he'll, he'll explain to you with somewhat of, like, hesitation, because he doesn't want to freak you out, that, uh, you know, he had something uh, somehow injected into him, and it turned into this... Uh, salamander tadpole something that was basically trying to eat its way out of Portal's body and he almost died from it. But he said that uh, back in Ninjas they performed a procedure uh, an operation to basically cut the thing out. So it was on like level very, 10 very, freak out? Very white. <laughs> and, <laughs> and try not to vomit. <laughs> so it's so ready for level 10 freak out. So uh, so this is kind of drunk and is half convinced he can he can cut the demons out of his body. <laughs> Corn's like just it's it's all right. I, I I don't know the procedure, but I, I was there and I saw it. But let's like like Usul said, let's let's go talk to Joe Dell. Maybe he'll know more about this. Um, quick, the gnomes quick. have me mechanical wonders for everything. They must have something for this. Quick all other questions. The little swimmers can't eat you yet. Quick, quick out of character, Brian. Mm -hmm. This surgical procedure isn't like the first one I did with Bachford, right? Uh, well, I guess <laughs> I didn't think about that. Do you, I guess Quarren, do you remember what I did? Because Warren was around then, but Usua wasn't. So, no, Quarren would have shared the procedure they went through with Porto, not yours, because I'm not sure that... Uh, no, no, when I played as Bachford, the very first thing I did was cut a dude's head off and the with silver thing coming out. Right, but I think, as I recall from that <laughs> encounter, you never saw the thing uh, that came out of him. Well, that was Bachford. I don't right. know who else would have been there. Cor well, just Corn, I guess, maybe. Right, right, that's what I'm saying. So I don't think you guys ever saw it back then. So that's why I'm saying it, it. That wouldn't probably ring a bell. But the procedure they did to Porto, Corn would have No, I think we did that. see it, because you, you described it. It was like a silver thing. Oh, you know what? As a matter of fact, I think someone saved it and put it in a jar, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Porto did. Yeah. Okay. Porto did. Porto did. <laughs> that, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. It's all coming back to me now. So, okay, yeah. Then Corn would have been, you know, sharing that. that uh, well, he probably wouldn't share the fact that, you know, his head got cut off. But he would share <laughs> that, uh, you know, he's seen these things twice now. Or he thinks what's maybe inflicting them. So. And his the recommendation right now is we go see Jodell. Right, right. And Brevin will kind of make his. Uh, I'm sorry. He'll introduce himself and give you guys all his name. It's Brevin, 
Revan Lyodon and through the course of the uh, you guys making way back towards the uh, the town to kind of share with you guys that uh, he's the one that Jodell uh, sent for and he's been basically volunteered a contract or however you want to word it to kind of lead you guys uh, into limbo okay but before he does leave he kind of has a conversation with all the elf uh, rangers around here and some of the the guards to kind of form a perimeter around this he said that he tells you guys we should be safe since all the sigils have been destroyed uh said that's uh, we can't teleport anywhere and no one else can teleport here since these things have been destroyed but he tells them all to keep a guard and to uh, double the watch uh for their foreseeable future this kind of leads you guys up uh into town to go meet with joe dell you guys have any thing you would ask or question or have a conversation with brevin about yeah, so it's not going to have any any time. Okay, anybody else? No, right now I'm uh, too f much focused on myself. Okay. All right, so if no other conversations, we'll assume that he kind of you guys all make your way back into town. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. Okay. And away we go. Okay, so as you guys are making your way back up town, you'll see more of the guards kind of coming out and forming a perimeter and looking all around in the, the nearby forest, making sure there wasn't anything else up there. Just, it's, everyone's at a, you know, a, a certain sense of urgency of kind of looking around and keeping a lookout and see all kinds of people along the perimeter of the walls, watching out into the, the forest and surrounding areas. Um, everyone, no, no, no need for a perception check. As you guys are making your way up towards the gate, you're still outside the city village, uh, Twig, you'll notice a, a familiar caravan coming up the road uh, behind you guys towards Mucklestone. This caravan is your little posse of uh, right. hirelings that finally made their way up here. Twig just kind of smiles, waves. Okay, and they wave back, and you see them kind of look off to the side and uh, at the farm off to the right side, and the weird-looking sail and the ship that's off in the distance there a little bit. And you can see them kind of hold their hands up like, okay, what do you want me to do? You want me to, you want me to come in? You want me to stay out here? He points him toward the farm. Okay, he holds up a, a thumb, like gives you a thumbs up. So you yep. turn around and kind of corral the whole caravan. They make their way over towards the, the farmhouse. Okay. All right, so we're getting close to the three-hour mark. I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a wrap-up here of what uh, what would happen when you guys get back into town, unless there's something else you guys were wanting to do right off the bat since you got in. Anything? No, I'm good. I uh, make mention that somebody should be going through all the bodies to see if they can get any, any information, gather any information off of the corpses. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to hang back and uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do some searching. Searching like... I Go ahead. Uh, I, I point to the giant fog cloud and say, I know there's a couple in there too. <laughs> All right, so Usul and Toman are going to stay back with uh, the carnage, right? Oh, no, Toman's heading to town. He wants to know what the hell's in him. <laughs> oh, okay. Toman, Toman and Silith are like... In... Making a new line. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Toman, did you add the hit points to yourself? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. So as you guys make your way back into town, obviously the, the chatter and the all the uh, gossip stuff's going around, and Usul... Not Usul... I always get Usul and, and Joda mixed up. Jodel and Kudwar and Diddy all come walking out of the keep and kind of greet you guys. You guys make your way down the main road uh, towards the keep. Um, you kind of, Brevin and Jodel kind of go off to the side and have a few whisper moments back and forth. And and Jodel kind of greets each one of you individually. Says, okay, thank you again for, uh, for your service. Um, Diddy here thought there may have been alter alternative motives here for... Uh, what happened out there, so I apologize for us not joining the fight. We thought it would be prudent to kind of stay underground and, and keep the Gym Corps extractor under guard. Um, I'm not sure if we'll get back to putting them together tonight or if we may uh, give ourselves some time to make sure this is the last of the attacks for tonight or what, but uh, they're close. At least they were close. We had to pull them all down and stow them away just in case. But uh, we're close. But anyway, I see you guys have uh, have met Brevin. 
and uh, I'm assuming he's kind of filled you in on what the next steps here are. Yes? Yes, we've met her. Okay, so uh, come, in, come inside, uh, rest, tend to your wounds, uh, see if some of the, uh, the clerics here have enough mana left to uh, heal your wounds, and, and uh, uh, we'll get back to the gym core extractor hopefully before the night is over with. And right now, so it's probably about... I need... Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I kind of break into him, Silt, and I may need extra assistance. Something happened out there with a the blue slot, and something's not right. And he kind of looks at you somewhat concerning. Says, uh, what do you what do you mean something happened? <laughs> it put something in us. Does this look infected? <laughs> Jill Jill kind of looks back a little bit. Uh, it looks like a... A typical wound. I don't. I, 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 he said he he'll say something to Cudwar. Says Cudwar, we'll have the infirmary uh, come out here at once and kind of tend to your wounds, and we'll have him take a look at anything you have concerns about. But he turns to uh, to Tom and says, Tom, what do you, what exactly do you mean that something might be in you? Is that what you said? Yeah, put something in us. I don't know if it was injecting a, a, a <laughs> venom or or left something behind, like a tip of a claw. There is something that it put in us when it attacked us. Silas felt Silas felt the same. Okay. And as you guys have that conversation, Quorn will chime in as well and, and share with Jodell and Oh, Quar. Silas already staring at that. <laughs> He's already staring at what? Uh, you see what I'm putting in the text? Oh, sorry. I was on a different screen. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, he's sharing everything with everybody. And Joel's like, Joel's like, okay, okay, just just calm down, Silith. Just calm down. I okay, I I get it, but uh, well, let's let's one step at a time. Let's let's get you to the infirmary, and let's let's see what we can what we can find out here. We got some good people here. Um, the gnomes of uh, Mucklestone are known for the ingenuity. Uh, I I I have faith that we can we can figure something out here. And maybe even we've had a few refugees from Injas show up here that were that were. Uh, familiar with that process and uh, we can we can possibly ask them for their assistance as well but first things first let's let's get you all to the infirmary yes oh not quick enough my friend not quick enough yes and you, you might want to take buttercup as well uh oh you you feel okay yes whatever that's fine and they'll all she, escort she was you bitten. go ahead she was bitten she was bitten okay we'll, we'll give everybody a thorough inspection and and see if we can uh, determine or find out if there's more to be concerned about or not. And at that, Joe Dell and Cudwar will kind of lead you guys over towards uh, the infirmary. And while you're doing this, both Brevin and Joe Dell will kind of go over, not really hiding it, but they're not really like you know shouting it out what the plan is for uh, for once the gym core extractor is is complete. Okay, are any of you guys trying to easy drop on that or? You content to let them have their conversation. I'm too busy being led away to get help. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Twigs. He's not concerned about it. He's not concerned about it. Correct. Okay. Anybody else? I'm not concerned. <laughs> okay. Nobody gives a shit. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's. It's in, it's in there. So he'll escort whoever is going back to the infirmary. Uh, walking back there, the rest of you guys, if you don't want to go in the firmary, just let me know where you plan on heading. I'm still out in the it's field. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to root around for some uh, magical items, see if anybody's got anything. Okay, so let me do this then. Let me switch back to the town map. And if you would, just kind of move your token to wherever it is you think your PC would go to. I'm oh, assuming the infirmary is in the main castle. The infirmary is back here. The back side of the okay. city. Yeah. My fault. <laughs> Corn's going to follow whoever goes to the infirmary since he's seen this once before. And Corrin might go after Nimba. Corrin might because go Because a lot of that happens. Corrin might. Because a lot of that happened on the Sparrow. Ah. 
Yep, that's right. Okay, that's a good point. So yeah, I'm going to rule that uh, he's going to go look for Jimba and Nimba into their boat. To ask him about this. Oh, because... That's right. Corn probably wouldn't have shared that with the rest of you guys, but that may have been exactly what happened to uh, Jimba. Way back on, like, session five. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sylvie, you still there? Yep. Are you staying in the field with Usul? I will, yes. Okay. And I'll let Dr. P make that decision when he comes back. But right now he's just kind of heading in town. and He's out of, out of uh, well, 20 now, too, so I don't know if he's... He's got what? He's out of Roll20 and Discord now, so... Okay. Yeah, because he, he was sick earlier, so he probably took off because he couldn't handle it anymore. Okay. So, that's good. We'll that's we'll good. call it there, and we'll pick back up on that uh, in, in two weeks here. Holy shit, guys. I didn't think you guys were ever going to get through that freaking uh, uh How many enemies there. did we fight? That was so damn many. Well, I mean, the town is under siege, so there's literally a hundred of those damn things within Ingest. <laughs> I just didn't expect uh, it, it to go. What are you doing? Sixteen rounds, I think, for that fight. Uh, there? Oh. there was a, there was a lot. Yeah, there was a lot. So I apologize if I seem like it was dragging it on, but okay, they'll, <laughs> they'll, they'll 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 take care of the portal soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'll totally get the portal. Continue. Not yeah, this group. Hey, if this was experience based, we would have been doing a good time. We'd be like just sitting there farming. Everybody like pounce on them as soon as they come out. Just <laughs> right. Yeah, to Google camp. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Any good session, everybody. Any questions, comments, complaints about tonight's session? I'm good. Okay. No. Right, cool. Excellent session. Yep. It's ending too early. Ending too early. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got another hour before I have to go back to work. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I'm sorry about <laughs> that. But... Worse for me. I got to be at the yeah. airport at seven, six, at seven in the morning. Ah. <laughs> okay. Man. Good luck. Safe travels, man. Oh, I'm not traveling. I'm, I'm sending my son home back to school. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, cool. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, guys, we'll be in touch, and uh, we'll see you guys in uh, two weeks. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you, Brian. Thanks, guys. Cheers, Night, guys. Brian.